Hello everybody, I think I'm almost ready to get started. Welcome Dango, welcome Tycoon. Hopefully you're both doing well. Let's get started. Unfortunately I got Windows updated, so let, let's test to see if I have alert sounds or not. I have a feeling I don't. Or at least I won't hear it. Stream will probably hear it. But we'll give special shoutouts again to Phil Photon for the recent follow. You're wide open! Oh, I actually heard it that time. Okay, the alerts didn't break after I reset them prior to the stream. That's good. And thank you again to Phil Photon for subscribing and Magic1 for the subscription. Hugh is 263 ATP away from being a Max Tumor. I saw the I'm a ghost. I didn't hear the I'm a ghost. It might, it might be cycling through some things. <laughs> Poor thing. But hope you're doing well, Dango. I'm a ghost. There we go. It was cued. So I guess we'll get started with a little bit of a warm up. And after that, we'll see who wants to play. Joyda Key, please. Of all the things chat, Joyda Key is giving me a problem now. Did you freeze, Joyda Key? I kind of need you to work. And task. You can hear it fighting me. Uh, hopefully it's on. We'll find out, I guess. Or I'm gonna be very sad in a minute. We're like Windows, please. Yeah, it's just, I'm recovering from a Windows update that was forced upon me. We'll see how it goes, I guess. About to jump on PSO for some more grind. Nice tycoon. More than welcome to hop in. I'm not sure if you're looking for any items in particular. Uh. I'm a ghost. There we go. It cycled through all the things. No worries, Murphy. Okay, I think my controls are working, even though Joy to Key is frozen. That's good. I'm gonna put this stuff away, but if there's people that are ready to play right now, let me know. And I can start a game for real. I picked up quite a lot during this event. Yeah, Hell Needle might be really strong, or even Hell Shot to some extent. I would say it's a worthy investment, Murphy. Is there anything I'm going to be looking for? I'm looking for a ton of items, but I want to just make sure people that play on stream at least get a chance at some of the hunts they're looking for. I mean, I'm looking for... Let me see. I have my little list somewhere. I should probably put that in the notepad. I am looking for... Probably not what other people are looking for. Copy this list for future reference. Welcome, Kaiser. Hope you're doing well. Uh, Vivians, Yunchengs, Terrell's Parasol, Cannon Rouge, Galantine, Twin Blaze, Cycle 1, V502, Incidental Jaya's. I would say for the most part, like, I'll still do TTFs and RTs or whatever. I don't really care about that. Mango's at work, so just here for moral support. Is there something you wanted to hunt for, Kaiser? I think you re listed Red Ring and Heaven Striker last time we had this conversation. But let me know, Tycoon, if you're looking for anything in particular. I don't mind just going straight into TTF, to be honest with you. I want to warm up a little with some of these other characters. I mean, if Kaiser's just looking for red rings still, I could very easily do that. Murphy says obvious big ones. Yeah, I have Heaven Striker for you, Murphy. x -Cal. I guess I could put red ring. Everybody's usually looking for that. That's a safe one. Oh, aim. Come on. I was clicking out of the window. That was rude. <laughs> I don't know why PSO takes my mouse control sometimes. My mouse was not in the window, as chat probably saw. But when I went to click into the window, it was like, you quadruple clicked, right? Oh, I, I don't even have a hit Cannon Rouge, Murphy. My Cannon Rouge are like actually trash. It's just, I just want to be really clear. They're super bad. 
I think I have one with like 15 ABs. It's bad. It's like literally just like one step above being all zeroed. If he is so greedy with the mouse inputs, I agree. Yeah, we're definitely going to do some Cannon Rouge runs at some point because I am like, I am dying chat for like a real weapon. I'm like, please, please give me a real weapon. So we're going to go into block two because that's where we, we like to live. Password is always is king. Got fed up and spent some PDs on one with Ruckus to balance one out for not being a real moral. Yeah, I agree. It does get really annoying when they miss comparatively. So if there is anybody that would like to hop in for some warm-up TTFs, by all means. I don't mind doing Heaven Striker either. I actually have some pretty good ones. Well, good relative. They're they're decent. I have some decent ones. I don't have like top tier or anything, but they're they're good enough. <laughs> That's where I'm getting at. Where I do have Heaven Strikers with hit. So it's not like the most desperate situation of all time. Hmm, speaking of desperation. I wonder how much damage this is gonna do now that it's been buffed with Dark Element. I'm hoping this holds up well in multiplayer. We just got this the other day. We'll do final call for people that want to hop into the game. Hopefully hang in there, Dango. We'll be playing, I think I'll take a break several hours from now, and then we'll d resume at normal stream time. TBD exact break time. Yeah, I got my Jaya to deal with the Worm Boss, even though it doesn't have ABs. All he really cares is about is the 45 hit chat, I'm not gonna lie. It's fine. Ucast brings all the ATP he needs. This will be final call before we go into TTF. I would say for the most part, I'm not worried about damage because I'm a 1500 ATP Ucast who doesn't care. So I'm not super worried about my DPS. What's the room? It's just called Ziggy in uh, block two. If you'd like to hop in. Thank you, Fodra too. Excuse me. Thank you, Murphy. Let me know, Tycoon, if you're looking for anything in particular. We'll do a couple TTFs and some maybe some Heaven Striker slash, slash Excal runs. I think most people are looking for those based off the list. I like for minus X, I just wrote question marks because every time something came up, he received it. I had red ring on there at one point. That's already gone. Thank you, Imperameter. Hope you're doing well. Oh, thank you for the lore. Okay, we got all the damage. Password is King Tycoon. There we go. Little Ludi, there's that's a name. Ooh, a force. Nice. White ID force. That's always fun. Oh yeah, I'm assuming nobody else is hopping in, so we're just gonna get started. I wanna test this bad boy out <laughs> on multiplayer. Especially before or after buffs. This should be interesting. Did I really miss that many shots with the 98%? That's like mind boggling to me. How is that even possible? Did you witness that, Chad? I missed two shots on a 98%. I, I like did a double take. I'm like, did I did I smart link? <laughs> it was like, wait, what? Um did have smart link. Whatever. Oh, 
thank you for the heal. Bonk. Yeah, fortunately I'm not using Dark Flow, so I don't really care if you heal me. It helps, don't get me wrong. Then I could just do stuff like this all day long. If it's not 100%, it's 50%. It sure felt like it. It was really awkward. I was like, what the heck was that? I mean, I'm hoping in multiplayer this is a 100% chance to hit. Because this this will give me a, a good idea of how much accuracy he needs. So he can get 5% more accuracy, keep in mind, because he doesn't have Red Ring yet. Oh, he already has 100% accuracy, so good. There we go. I can just do this if I want to. Poor Soul Dragon. That's a good sign. I'm already 100% in multiplayer here. Demon without Zalore, it's almost a kill by itself. Let's go for Charge Vulcan here. Charge Vulcan damage is broken. Like, don't mind me, just gonna do a casual 4k to the dragon's foot. Dango's like, I gotta get me one of those. Yeah, they're really good, Dango. I just couldn't get one with hit. That's that's the big problem. Like, the Hugh still can use it because she has accuracy without hit, but she needs percentages. So she actually cares more about, like, it being, like, 60 dark, and it could have almost zero hit, and it doesn't matter. Because it's like she's got a 25 hit. Obviously, if I give this to her, she's gonna hit, like, the high-end stuff easy. But with 30 hit, I feel like... You know, I'm using a 15 accuracy boosting shield. I feel like this is good enough, even in multiplayer. And obviously, the little bit of dark percentage really helps if I'm looking to combo kill, like, an Indie Belra. Yeah, definitely would recommend Dango. I I'm sad I never got one that was worth using until now, outside of one that Helkley gave me. Oh. What happened to the slime? Did somebody kill it? That's unfortunate. I was gonna say, I was gonna slime dupe. Rip the slime dupe. Yeah, let me uh, slime dupe though, for real. It's a lot of just free kills. Oh, uh, see, I can't 100% hit this. I could do that though. Everybody, I guess I guess you could grind worm boss, maybe. Oh, that almost combo kills. Oh wait, it does combo kill. It puts up at the right health total. That's so silly, chat. <laughs> wow. It's not even ABs. So if that had any ABs, I think that would just legit kill combo kill. That's kind of sad. If it was a lord, it would have died for sure. Not that you need the Zalora plant. Just find it funny. Anyway, let's do some slime duping for more badges. Let chat deal with the other room. Yeah, the reason I do this is just because it's a lot of XP with the fire traps. The people looking to level, like here, I just got a power material and bronze badge from it. I'm like decently equipped. So I'm assuming Kaiser and um, Tycoon will end up just double teaming that poor Volmer by itself. So I'll put down a telepipe for them. I know there's stream delay and that's why I'm talking ahead of time. Because as soon as that thing's dead, I'm just going to open up a telepipe. There we go. Nice and simple. Anyway, I got what I need to go kill Worm Boss. <laughs> I'd prefer Zalor and the Worm Boss, but technically I could just brute force it because Hucast doesn't care about stats on enemies. Hucast busted. Just imagine too, Dango. He doesn't even have the ATP boost from Red Ring yet. Like, he's not even remotely close to his potential. I'm like 140 or 120 ATP below where he should be. I'm not at cap. Kind of silly. Aw, uh, knows the lore. Uh, I'll brute force it. Goodbye, my money. Yeah, the only thing I'm gonna ask for is I, I definitely want his lore on falls and one boss going forward for sure. Otherwise, I have to spend like 50k to win. Not that I can't win. It just gets expensive. Okay, so this next room, if the robots are Zalord, they die very quickly. I'm gonna put a Confused Trap down, get some free kills. 
Last night you're feeling bad for your humor. What do you mean? Oh, like how much better the other character is? Oh, I can't land the hits. Oh, that's unfortunate. So if I had a really high accuracy weapon, I could maybe bully him. So that now we're seeing like I could maybe I could freeze trap him. Again, we're experimenting with a gun I've never had before in terms of hit percentage. So I think if I were to freeze trap that, that should combo kill. So we can test it out in this room. Because we have a pretty consistent freeze trap setup that doesn't involve us needing a trap shoot. Get a view real quick. Oh, actually, I can't be the one that activates it. I need somebody else to activate the Red Sinnoh. Kill some of these in the meantime. On the plus side, I mean, you can see the damage already, which is normals and no percentages. It's kind of insane. Uh, so I should be now on time for the Red Sinnoh. So if I put a Freeze Trap here and then walk backwards, I should be able to do this. Yeah, so that combo kills. So with a single Freeze Trap, he just one-shots them without any percentages and not max ATP. It's kind of insane, if you think about it. I mean, just look at the damage. Just put him in the grinder. Yeah, once he gets a hit weapon, he's good. Let's see, does this combo kill over ends? Not quite. See that? We're experimenting and learning. I think if that didn't miss, that would have killed. I'll let chat deal with the switch. Code has, like, its faults. I think in this scenario, I'd rather charge Vulcan. Uh-oh. Team's not hitting the switch. What's happening? Team? Oh, yeah, they're real. <laughs> I was like, wait a minute. I need somebody to stunlock this. I'm assuming Kaiser will handle it. Newcast really wants an S parts. Darn right, Murphy. <laughs> He's wearing it right now. Oh my like, yeah, it's it really is night and day. Honestly, Dango, I found one on I think GameCube, and then I was like, I'm not grinding that again. I just bought it from somebody in a trade in Affinia. Oh no, spread needle? Hmm. This would be interesting. That is gonna be most unfortunate, I think. Alright, so we don't have players that have anything to deal with this. I can stunlock it a little bit. Honestly, I don't even think it's worth shotgunning, unless you think you can stun it, because I just have more ATP. This is just more here if you think you have what you could get. 2457 is really high. No, don't Vulcan it. No, don't Vulcan it. Bad idea. Alright, I'm gonna explain this boss. It only cares you have a high ATP weapon in your hand. The people attacking with, like, Vulcan is not good. It does way less damage, and it's interrupting my charge shots, which are not super strong, don't get me wrong, but my ATP puts it up pretty high. No, stop shooting it. It can only take damage in so many intervals, so if I'm already stunlocking it, don't shoot it. I thought somebody had a spread needle or uh, potentially an Excal. If you have an Excal, you're more than welcome to stunlock with a uh, Gazond. I don't care about that. So we're going to have to go for a full clear, which kind of sucks. I think going forward, I'm going to go forward and do that. Yeah, it's kind of unfortunate. Alright, there we go. Yeah, because the downside is if everybybody's hitting it, uh, I was holding it still originally, because as I said before, I thought somebody had a weapon for it. But I'll know going forward to not assume that. 
Please don't missile me. You're gonna missile me. Chat, I'm feeling hard targeted by this boss. Are you serious? Are you being, are you serious? Why am I getting so hard targeted? Chan, I think I need to start having a counter of how many times this boss has targeted me over other options. It's like unreal, actually. Am I getting targeted again? Oh, you better not. I'm like, you better not be. Get out of here. <laughs> it's like ridiculous. <laughs> it's like, stop it. I feel like we're getting into the statistically extremely unlucky category. So silly. I don't think this will kill, but I do have dark percentage. Let's find out. No, it does kill in two hits, though. Bulls will be bulls, as they say. Welcome, minus X. I'm just going to go for killing spree. Yeah, see, I can't land these. And nor and so single player, I can actually land that somewhat consistently. And multiplayer, I can't. So that's good to know. But somewhere around mines, they start scaling a little too high for Hugh and multiplayer. Everything else is fine. Also, that wasn't my Vulcans, which was awkward. Okay. Yeah, unfortunately, Vol Op has, like, a period of time you can't injure him. So, like, with multiple people hitting it, but also having low ATP. Not gonna go anywhere. I had Twin Blaze in theory, but that requires at least another Twin Blaze user. Or somebody else with a fast gun, like a Spread Needle. Because then if I interrupt, it doesn't matter, because it does massive damage. Short stream for now? I don't think so. It's going to be, like, probably four hours into another four hours. Get rid of these. I think I want to kill the Delvies as a Skyly. I don't think I care about any of the other kills. I'm just going to kill these real quick. Okay. I'm going to equip a high damaging gun. Prefer not to LNK combat everything here. No worries, minus X. Yeah, S parts giving... Extra accuracy is insane. Like, this this was a game changer. I thought he was okay leveling up, but when I got the S parts, I fully agree with Murphy. I was like, wow, this character is better than most of my characters. He's not even remotely close to capped. And that was like 30 levels ago, I felt that way. Let alone where he is now, where he just is the damage dealer. While also still having a lot of crowd control. I think that's why I like him a lot more than the characters like the Humor. I just really want to be able to lock things down or to be able to potentially disco Brave Man safely. And he's just going to be able to do that consistently. So he's just going to get more combo kills. He's going to be able to freeze trap for himself. He's going to be able to use disco Brave Man and pretty much combo kill everything in the game. So it's like, I don't have to worry too much about having like the best percentages on a weapon aside from hit. So it's kind of... Kind of the inverse problem. Like, if you have a lot of high-hit weapons with no attributes, he's great. If you have nothing with hit, then he feels kind of bad. <laughs> well, I understand why he passes the meta now. I mean, it really is, like, if you if you are missing that accuracy piece, he does feel kind of underwhelming at points. To be honest with you. But, like, now that I have this, it's like, I'm not even at red ring, and this is dumb. Please use the lore on the boss. Thank you. I missed. So sad. See, chat, this is where five extra accuracy from Red Ring is going to make a difference. If I can land that heavy attack consistently, it's going to be so much damage. Okay, so I can normal, normal, normal if I want to. 
Which is sometimes useful because I can't get a charge attack on the boss very often. But I just want to do this. In theory, I could chip him out. <laughs> wow. How generous of the boss. So yeah, I can't quite get the heavies there. Because I don't have free strap to offset the boss evasion. No worries, Takun. This part's a rare drop, but it can drop in any difficulty. Um, I don't know about any difficulty. They're on several. I still think Charge Vulcan will out damage. But LNK at least gives me a long range option versus this boss. But the boss wants to go full screen, I don't super care. Perfect. I didn't want to hit it because I was afraid it would do it. So LNK should have extended range from what I remember over other options. But obviously if it gets close like this, I should just Vulcan its brains out. Nice dodge. Because that'll get you through the grants. Should be able to get an easy pickup kill. Oh, come on. Wow, we got robbed. I got one bullet off, almost. What a cheater. Yeah, I think it's orange ID on ult and then a couple of different IDs and other ones. Perish. Yeah, I don't remember the ones on normal. Most people will probably farm it on orange ultimate. Unless they just want easy resets, then I guess they do normal. Okay, so I'm going to bring slightly different weaponry so I can stun lock the boss. We'll do another one. Oh, is it in the bronze gamble? That's interesting. I didn't look at the gamble list recently. Yeah, no worries. No worries. Again, I'm not I, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna take it personal. I'm just letting you know. I'm <laughs> just like I'm just letting you know. I just wanna slime dupe if we do it again. That's all. So let's uh bu -bu -bu, sell some things. I guess we're good to go. I'm gonna go pick out a handgun. So, I think we talked about this on stream before, but I'll, I'll bring it up again in case people are seeing for the first time. So the reason I want to have a gun like a red handgun, even though it's not as good as something like a spread needle, it just has raw ATP. And because machine percentage counts towards that ATP calculation, that's a lot of damage I'm doing to Volt Up when it only cares about your ATP. So I'm going to do this over my charge ray gun. And I would say if you don't have enough boost of ATP, like your early Hue cast, this also ends up being the thing you use to kill spinners with. Just due to it having another 120 ATP, does make a difference when you want your normal to do 300 damage. So, just thought I'd mention that. I'll probably end up confuse trapping most rooms. So if you ever see them confused, you could just allure them. And it's probably just going to be easy kills. If you want as a force, you can also clean up the things that are confused. That's up to you, though. Honestly, it's kind of a judgment call how far away you think you are compared to everybody else distance-wise. But since we're in the event, I'm not going to complain about cleanup kills, for sure. Yeah, S part for me makes a Hue cast. I think once this character hits 180, I might make another Hue cast, to be honest with you. Oh, there we go. Murphy has logged in. Killbot engage. Ah, oh, I'm barely taller. I did it. <laughs> Murphy's character huge, though. Look, I can just fit inside his character so easy. 
executing burner.exe, exactly. Um, it's not even that they hit three times, it's more like, they are not good early on when you don't have the base ATP. So like, when you probably first pick them up, they're kind of underwhelming, because you just don't have like good Shifta, you're probably not using Zalor, and your just stats aren't there from a mag perspective, so like, weapon ATP banner is more. But once you get into ultimate, that stuff doesn't matter as much. Yeah, like, Vulcans are, like, hilarious on a Hugh cast, because you're like, oh, I could just do my damage times 9? Sure. My ATP's so high anyway. It's like I'm wielding a weapon anyway. Uh, let's just switch into this, maybe. Okay, that time I didn't miss. Okay, nice Zalore. Appreciate it. I can just walk away from that. I don't even have to do anything in particular. I should get a couple free kills. That's brought to you by Zalor. Although I will probably need an attack buff at some point. Fortunately, Hugh Cast is so broken. I don't think I need it right away. Um, nice level up. See that, Chan? <laughs> I'm doing my own version of Shifta. Just level more. <laughs> what a what a character town. So we'll do at least one more and then we'll go into maybe some Heaven Strikers. I think most people are looking for those. Also, having the 40% from people don't want to have makes a huge difference. Yeah, I would agree. I, I think players uh, early on don't understand how busted they'll end up being. Oh, I'm so happy to see a Cannon Rouge. You have no idea. Raise speed to Cannon Rouge. It's like... You know what makes me kind of sad, though? They probably won't do it, but can you imagine if you could color a Cannon Rouge? Love to see Murphy with the blue cannon rouge matching his character. <laughs> then it'll be cannon azure. <laughs> Ultramarine also works. Okay, time for some slime duping. Where's the slime at? too far. Oh, somebody pulled in the middle. I can't do anything about that. Need one slime near me. Okay, I need... Uh, there we go. That works. It's always risky because the spawn point is in the middle. Wait, is that the end of the soundtrack? What? Oh. Being weird with me. Silly soundtrack. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and confuse trap these. Just move. Just let them kill each other. Just free damage. There we go. Yeah, feel free to clean things up as long as you're in the room where the final Volmer spawns. Feel free to get extra kills. You you have permission to go wild and get those free kills. If you just want to go on a murder spree with the lilies, by all means. I just know I'm better suited for slime kills. But we saw last stream, I was going on a Lily Spree, the Disco Brave Man. I got excited, I heard a rare, then I saw it was Dragon Slayer. Excitement over chat. <laughs> just disappointment followed.
Okay. This should be pretty big damage. Yeah, look, look what a difference that is. I did one less Jaya swing and it died like six or eight seconds, somewhere between that faster than the other one. So silly. We'll have to get Kaiser a nice cannon rouge at some point. We'll definitely play some uh, red ID, green ID nonsense. And technically, if we play red ID all the way through, we could go for cannon rouge and heaven striker. I don't know why I attacked them. Don't need to. I guess I felt threatened by their general aura and decided to murder them. Oh, being cute with the freeze trap there. I saw that. Yeah, go ahead and clean those enemies up if you want. So since I'm in the lead, I have to keep going. So I'm going to make sure the quest doesn't fall too far behind. Almost got the kill. Uh, somebody's in front of me now. I can afford to get some kills. So I think what I can do is... If I land the freeze trap... I get a guaranteed kill with heavy attack. Oh, that's so disgusting. <laughs> I mean, like, come on. Oh, my bad. I didn't realize somebody's gonna freeze trap. Okay, so we'll move on to the next area. This guy's in the way, though. Very clean. That miss, 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 miss was painful. One day, chap, we'll be free. I cleared the way for the team. I'm just gonna shoot a couple times to maybe protect them a bit. Okay. Oh, Murphy's got the uh, spread needle. Nice. I might shoot it once for Murphy, we'll see. It depends on where Murphy is. Hmm. I'll shoot it to slow it down. Then we'll do a handoff to Murphy. That is my preferred weapon for stunlocking this boss. The red handgun, as I said before, it's gonna do its job. So I did a little handoff there. So Murphy was waiting for my combo to finish. I like how it was still on screen. Nice game. There we go. That went pretty quick. Oh yeah, will I get targeted again? How many times in a row will I get targeted? Will it be missiles? That's the other question. Oh my gosh, I'm getting targeted again. Stop it. What is this? Leave me alone. <laughs> oh my gosh, chat. <laughs> I don't think the boss detects other people in the room, I swear. Galore 30. I should probably pick that up. Normally I wouldn't bother, but that I should probably pick up. Okay. You know what? I'm gonna confuse trap these and leave. I might as well just try to get free kills with them. Maybe it'll work. Yeah, I like Murphy putting the Confused Trap there. Protect Murphy. I'm gonna 
to take big damage there. That's unfortunate. As soon as I saw that, I was like, man. It's always in a bad position for me. Oh, well. Four here. So. I'm going to put a couple of Confused Traps down for free kills. I'm not going to bother attacking these. Don't mind me, just weaving. Wait, how did I beat people here? Oh, I'm like, wait a minute. <laughs> Came from the upper platform. Goodbye, Indie Ball Rhythm. Okay, freeze Trap into Freeze Trap in the middle. That way I have more guaranteed lockdown on the enemy. Ooh, I just barely stopped my attack in time. Could have been much worse. Take it though. We'll keep leveling Murphy so his uh, ATP will catch up with Spread Needle. It'll be fun. Hmm. I was gonna say, I think we're gonna be in an awkward position because the buffs weren't reapplied, but they're gonna fall off pretty soon. Mine should be good for a while, so I don't necessarily need to be close. I think the other two are in trouble. Ooh, I, know, I like the buff range of that. We are just talking about Terrells the other day. Damn, there's so many near me. That's unfortunate. I'm a little out of position. I'm not in the worst possible position, but it's not a good one. I'm gonna lose a little bit of DPS here. It didn't matter though, fortunately, that much. way because nobody was over here previously so I know this is safe. Is that invincibility? Damn that was sick. My team revived themselves. <laughs> Don't mind me, I'll just clean up the face. <laughs> right chat, it's okay. I'll just all it's fine. I mean, I have mag invincibility. What is the boss going to do to me? Nothing. Might as well just bully the boss. I was hoping somebody had escaped. One person had escaped. That's all that matters. And there we go. I more or less maximized my bit damage there. Again, that's much better than just not doing charge shots because I only have an 83% chance of landing it if I do that. Ooh, that was so much damage. So it's like, I, I have to recognize, like, other characters could real, like, consistently land their third special. This character is not one of them, so you take what you can with just generic hits. I was gonna say, if you're gonna soul link me, you're so dead. So yeah, I think I think uh, Dango will like that as well. The the machine gun having the ability to hit full screen, even just as normal attack, is pretty strong. So it still does like 2k plus full screen. It's kind of silly. 
And again, I still have like another 100 plus ATP to go. Could have had a higher roll on the dark percentage. Definitely a lot of what if scenarios. What if we were just a little stronger? So I think for my solo clear, this is going to help a lot. No worries, Kaiser. Let's do one more. That'll put us at a decent level. See, we now have above 708 health, which I think is required to survive Dorfon. Question mark. Gonna go pick up my Hell Needle. Nice, nice. That's a good reason to take a moment. <laughs> Enjoy it, Murphy. Seal J sword has been found. So the goal is basically to get this character to 180, and he can help with lame to Arjun hunts. Depending on what IDs people are, we might build a host without me swapping out a damage. Otherwise, I can play as a Huka Seal, who is red ID. It could do Cannon Rouge and uh, Heaven Striker runs. Just uh, pretty solid. I'd say the only thing is, like, I'm not a super big fan of the boss drops over green ID, because green ID could get Galatine. But it's like not the it's not the end of the world either, honestly. Things like Centurion at least are like fodder for selling. So we'll see. I'm just happy that most of the characters I was looking to play as have leveled up to the point where at least they're somewhat usable. I think later on we're going to uh, play RT with my blue ID Huna roll at some point. Might be in the later session though versus the sessions particularly. But at some point today. Yeah, not too bad. We'll give them a moment or two. Little restock. Yeah, we'll, we'll we'll assess what IDs people are. First time I use Terrells for shifted e band. It is nice. It has quite a few things on it, which is what makes it useful. I'm hoping to eventually use it as a weapon, but that's more of a pipe dream. Since on forces it requires like an absurd hit percentage. Uh, but sometimes I do equip it when I'm using heal at least, because I do enjoy the rest of boost. Because it basically means in most things like Endless Episode 1, it could be anywhere in the arena and get the full heal. Which could be useful if people are just spamming Berserks. Yeah, it's pretty good XP here at least. Give Murphy a moment or so. Yeah, the Tyrells has the charge special. We were talking about before, Madam's Paracel is Berserk. There's like not a whole ton of reason to use Madam's Paracel, and they're both kind of hard to get for some reason. I think Madam's Paracel is also a higher star count, if I remember correctly. But it's just like strictly the inferior item. Oh, nice, you got Hell Needle. I could potentially do some episode two runs with that. I'm sure you'll be very happy, Murphy. Experiencing the power of like a pink ID run in like CCAs, you just hell needle everything out of existence. You're like, oh no, I have lower ATP than cat. Pew pew hell. Pew pew hell. Just like, oh no, however will I clear episode two? Hell, 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 hell. Yeah, it's just kind of one of those unfortunate things. I do like that we're basically a blue army, though. Everybody's blue. We we got the memo. <laughs> like, bring your blue character. Give them hell, Murphy. Exactly. Oh, Murphy is a green ID. Well, that's convenient. Murphy can host later. 
recognized by the chest symbol. How to get PD with only hell and low ATP. What do you need? Photon drops. Made this character to farm V502, ironically. Well, you can use it to farm Heaven Striker. You're, you're like, okay. You can do TTF runs. Oh, Photon Blast. Uh, that's where you donate, Murphy. <laughs> that That's a trick question. We'll give Kaiser another minute or so, otherwise we'll get started and Kaiser can rejoin later. Rainfinger interface needs maintenance, maybe. Interesting song. Just a boss song. Well, brutality. One would think so. Okay. Go ahead and get started. And we'll go into probably green ID runs. Hosted by Murphy. And then I can display as this character for raw damage. As I was gonna say, the worst thing that happens is I play a Hugh Casil who I like to play as. I'm like, oh no, what a penalty. Goodbye. Alright, Murphy's got the boxes, good. It's always worth checking those boxes on the off chance that they have a photon drop. Thank you, Murphy. I always find it annoying hitting my own traps with Disca. Erish. I mean, so far I'm liking the Yakuza 7 music. I have, as I said before, I did not get very far in the game since it was not Discord friendly. It could be fun to maybe go back to this, although I don't know how I feel about a turn-based Yakuza. Yeah, I, I don't feel comfortable with Diska hitting traps at all, not even slightly. Pistol I'm still rusty with. Mech Gun I feel like it's a coin toss whether it works the way I want it to, because it's like I can't shoot it right away. And obviously, if I whiff, it's super painful. Almost got the damage bug, so close. <laughs> Charge Vulcan Cannon Rouge says goodbye. Responsible. Go here and activate the enemy. Pretend I'm helping the run and just secretly not wanting to slime dupe all day long. Nice slime duping. There we go. That that was my responsibility there. I'll leave the power material behind. That's fine. <laughs> yeah, this character could just hit the delete button on them. I'll let the team clear out the lilies. I think the team's got this. Oh, no. Lily kills. Found an Ajito. Lots of Ajitos. Yeah, I just figure as long as it doesn't lose too much time, even in a three man group, we can also just kill the Lilies really quickly. As long as it's like a Q cast or something. We're like forced cleaning up a confused group of people. Both kind of work. Ooh, silver badge. 
rewarded for the dupe. So I'm out of kill range of the laser attack, which is good. Now to Sincesta from a hill that's horror. There's a item drop I don't hear very often. Interesting run they're doing. See, without at least, I think, 35 hit, I don't think I can consistently land the special. But you can see what happens when you can land the special, how much damage that does. So, you cast a sense of caring about percentages on hit more than he cares about attributes on weapon. Not that it's not good to have. It just, it matters way more for him to get it than like a raw mar, for example. for a little bit of cleanup here. Let's up to Murphy. Probably just about cleaned out the other door now. Pretty close. Do a little bit of cleanup here. There we go. Nice and simple. I'll get one extra kill while I'm waiting. I don't even think it's greedy. I think that just works. A little free strap here. Bye. In fact, I kind of just want to confuse trap this room. I'm going to be honest with you. I don't even think I want to freeze trap this room ever again. Let's walk away. Murphy went back for something. Nice luminous field. Oh! Somebody stepped in the room before me. That's unfortunate. Pretty good defense. Okay, so I'm gonna go clean up these enemies and then protect the group. Does this kill with all normals? What a character. We're gonna free that area up. There we go, out sniped. Still gonna slow it down on the other monitor with my red handgun, which now has five more ATP, because of course. Nice rambling, man. Almost fast enough. That was so close. Look from my side, Murphy's just fighting a blue screen. <laughs> Although one could say that's just the average Windows user experience. Get out of here, Volt um. Are you targeting me again? I swear. What a troll. He's gonna tank it. He is targeting me, by the way. Targeted me twice. 
I'm feeling a, I'm feeling a little like personally <laughs> looked at by the boss. Does, does he target any other players other than me? Get out of here. He's healed so far and I think caged once in like 30 attacks. <laughs> Everything else has been a targeted move. Game please. Watch his Ziggy before stream, something like that. He's gonna freeze. That actually hit me? That's unfortunate. Not that it matters here. Charge Vulcan says goodbye. I definitely want to confuse trap this. This feels like free kills. I don't know, because I feel like I'm not even highest ATP. Like, I got targeted as the Humar. <laughs> like, I, I'm just like... It's, I don't know. Oh, a gold badge. I, I feel a little, a little better. We're starting to even out my once for four hours a little bit. Yeah, I forget how the episode 2 monkeys work offhand. To be honest with you, it's something I barely pay attention to. It's like how the sorcerers just kind of cheat teleport to the nearest ranger. Oh, did nobody go upstairs? Unfortunate. Well, I guess I'm full clearing. Go this way. Sure, I'll, I'll, I'll kill the Darkbringer. Why not? Come here, Darkbringer. You spawn, like, right here, right? Of course you do. Rip robot. Eh. That was fun. <laughs> Perfy just equipping the Heaven Striker, <laughs> ready to murder. Oh, you're talking about Gibbles. I thought you meant the, uh, what's it called? The old Gibbons. Yeah, no, I, I know about Gibbles. I thought you meant about the other ones. <clears throat> I, I guess Gibbles is technically a leaping monkey. They're just not the ones I think of. I hear that. Yeah, the, the male hate is real. <laughs> I was gonna say, when you play Fomar, the Gibbles just goes target locked. The focus is real. I'm gonna be careful here, because it's not a full clear. I was gonna say, because it's not a full clear for this one. It's still interesting to share. I, I think it's still good to share because I don't think players realize that it's like kind of a, as we said before, like a solved equation kind of deal. Holy, my damage is insane when this hits. Goodbye. <laughs> wow. Again, that's easy 2k plus on a Vulcan. So silly on this character. I got shots off, but they didn't land. Oh. Getting trolled. Getting hard trolled. Got him. <laughs> no, it all stands still and regen HP. Oh, that works too. Welcome back, Kaiser. What about forces? I hate him. That's pretty accurate. So we're gonna switch over to I think uh, some Heaven Striker or something after this. Nice. Maximize my damage there by doing normal, normal, heavy. So if it goes around again, it could die here. If it doesn't, it's not a big deal. Oh, it didn't move. Interesting. Oh, it's so close to dying. 
Oh, 56. <laughs> Come on. No, 56. You know what? Die to dolphin. <laughs> Get out of my face. <laughs> right, chat? Get out of here, stupid boss. <laughs> I'm not waiting for your soul link. Get out of here. I'm tired of you. Get dolphined. <laughs> Robot counterattack measure. Get off me. Humor Foley would have killed the street dango. It was within 60. Nice levels. Listen, chat. When, when, when you're done with the boss, just just mag blast it. It does like no damage, but it is the ultimate disrespect kill. It's hard to top that. Actually dying to dolphin. I think everybody has enough health to survive the nonsense of below ground. Probably not to survive the boss itself. I guess the only downside is if we do a full boss run. Don't see how the party would kill the boss. Like, I have Disco Brave Man, but that thing is going to hit so wildly and erratically. I don't know if it's worth doing. We could do, um... Uh... What's it called? New Mop-Up Operation 4, I think? We're testing my knowledge. Is that the correct form? Yes. Or three. Honestly, three is also pretty good. Is it about damage? It's about sending a message, pretty much. Dying to Snake might be more disrespect. I don't even know if Snake reaches, to be honest with you. Like that and Angel. I've never tried. I just believe in the power of Dolphin. Yeah, I mean, I guess if we're just looking for... Twin Blaze would have been really funny. That's true. I could Twin Blaze shame it. I can technically stack that while I'm waiting. It just... It will only hit, like, one, though, because it's so short range. Hmm. No, like, fire would definitely work. It's not a question of if it'll work. It's if it'll reach. It's Gaf the Gafoe level is very low. Yeah, we'll have Murphy make a game. I guess we could try the new mop-ups and see which one we like. So typically, for those that don't know, for Heaven Striker, you typically go for either really fast resets in four, where you clear the first wave of the second room, or you typically go to uh, the third warp in new mop-up preparation three. The problem with new mop-up Operation 3 is that it has a lot of damaging floors, so it can be a little rough for newer players. So we, we could try with 4 first. Murphy could bring in his, uh... Rock has for levels, because it should be very quick levels. And he's dancing in front of you, gonna try? Nice. We'll have Kaiser with us now. We'll help a little bit in terms of damage, at least. And then if you want to do a full red ID run, let me know. Yeah, we'll try four first. So four, we can we can literally just point out where the where it ends. But we could go in theory could complete the whole quest if we wanted to. Because I'll, I'll try to point out where the normal resets are for people that want to hunt this on their own. Yeah, because technically new mop operation three is fast. I just worry about our team health. Uh, this one is for Heaven Strikers on green ID. Technically, also every time we fight a zoo, it's V101. Every 
understand. I just have the shoulder of a forward ends there. I mean, technically, the reset of new bop up preparation four is insane. Because we just have to reach the second room, clear the first wave, and then literally would reset in a solo run. But it might make more sense to do three for other things. So, yeah, this run is not going to be very long. You're looking for Pyro Gorons. Nice paralysis, appreciate it. So technically while doing this run, you would get access to things like Photon Crystals. I always have to think about this quest switch direction to go in. So literally the run would end right here. You would kill these Pyrogorons and reset. That would literally be the whole run. We might as well just keep going with it. Add slots and boxes because episode two. Uh, not a lot in episode four. Most actually don't have add slot. They'll have photon crystals. Add slot is more of a episode one thing. I'll hit the first switch. Nice level. Oh, yeah, they, they do not drop slots in ultimate. You might be thinking of low difficulties. Low difficulties will have slots. Episode 4 has like 13 photon crystal. Maybe red coat, depending on your ID. They, they have very consistent drops, I'll put it this way. <clears throat> so we'll pop boxes, just for a quick check. So everybody has a chance at those. So we hit one switch. Love Marissa's getting out of my face. <laughs> there we go. More Pyrogorons, because why not? what I didn't want to have happen. I had literally one dodge me. That's the problem. There's a lot of range attacks. They're more likely to teleport. So it causes like an inconsistency. Like I actually find this kind of run really easy in single player because you will know whether or not you're going to trigger them. Whereas in multiplayer, it's a little more ambiguous. So like it could be like a stray fireball triggers them or like a delayed Vulcan will trigger them. It's always a mystery. And honestly, I don't even mind just wrapping up like a new mop up preparation for you. I just want to make sure we have benefit. Like it looks like we have the damage. It's just whether we have the HP is another question. It doesn't hurt to get a little further. Froze them a little too early. My bad. Yeah. Weirdly enough. I think I talked about this before. I actually like Episode 4 with casts. I actually even like them as uh, hunters. I think the only one I don't want to play it as is like... Probably Human Ranger. I just find there's enough things in there that I find just a little too annoying. I'm gonna take the warp. See how there's like not a lot of enemies here? This is like perfect for like an all- like an almost all hunter party. I put a Hunural in or like a Ramaral for buffs, and then just like literally nothing but melee. The other's only like three targets, so it's like if you have like a high damage single target move, like a Gear of Soul or something, it just kind of deletes them. Like the Ranger's value goes up if they're like far away, or there's like a lot of trash that potentially you have to hit through. The Siska could be a little awkward to use unless they start like mid-screen. I think I gotta go to the middle. These doors always confuse me, I'm not gonna lie. 
I have played this quest before, and I, every single time, the doors, I'm like, am I going to the side or the middle? Sometimes it's the middle, sometimes it's not. So I think this quest can end up in RBR. The other one can't, because the other one is just, like, ridiculously good. So it doesn't hurt to know this quest. I think this is the quest where we can uh, cheese it a little. So you don't have to follow me, team. I'm putting a telepipe down. Oh. That's fine. I'm putting a telepipe down. So the reason I want to do this is I can teleport here later and save myself some time if I want to. Oh, it actually might not be this one. It might be the next gate. My bad. I know there's a an entire switch you can skip if we do this. So if nothing else, we could go back to the entrance once we hit another switch. I think we've hit one switch. We're almost done. We basically just don't go to the final room in the other version of this quest. But honestly, most of the time, I just play the quest out. If you're going like three switches in, I'm like, you just, just beat the quest at that point. I'm gonna back up away from the Barissas. Those are the only enemies the Hunter doesn't really like to deal with. Because their best weapons just don't do anything on them. They jump away. Everything else, like Gorons, you're like, okay. I'll go in a melee fight with them. They don't matter. Nothing of interest over there. <laughs> I think when running this quest, I sometimes leave a notepad up telling me which door to go through. Because honestly, it does get kind of annoying. Aided. Now perish. Like, again, if I'm playing, like, a human ranger solo here, I, I guess it's okay as long as you have, uh, like, Heaven Striker, I guess. Did they really all teleport because of how chaffing them? That's so sad. That is so sad. They were all together, but then they're like, we're gonna go flash on. Uh, I, need, I need some gelin on them. I'm getting bullied. Get me out of here. There we go, I can play the game again. Them alternating swings is brutal. Not gonna lie. Wait, what? I thought I switched to Jai. Unlucky. Almost killed him with the combo. Bonk. So I think because I put... Okay, I think this is the right one, because it's going to end with the warp, which normally takes forever to do. So essentially someone will help warp us back when we're done with this. Potentially. I'm going to remember there's a switch here, which is going to open one of the laser gates we saw earlier. The stopping in this room wouldn't be the worst thing ever. Using hand hand the red handgun in melee range. There we go. Take that, Yaoi. As long as chat hits that switch, we should be good. So I just want to make sure there's nothing else we have to do before we go further. Yeah, because that'll connect to a wall. The other one I think leads us the long way around, right? Yeah. Okay. Just confirming. So I'm gonna go take the board. I'm gonna let for people go into mine. I think it's this one actually. Yes. I did think about that. I, I was green player, and I'm like, wait a minute. I came out of my own wharf. <laughs> Forgot that's how that works. That's how rare I play player two. Anyway, it saves that little walk. That's that's my tech tip to you. <laughs> Put a warp there, save like a 15 second walk. Yeah, this this quest is something you should probably look out for in RBR. We're just playing it just to try it. I have the power. A little better than that in terms of drops. Bonk bonk bonk. Erish. I'll take the bronze bound. Seriously. 
How is there always one that teleports and targets me? Get out of here. Not even attacking. So rude. We might run out of time on this. Oh, that's a dead end. Got baited. Yeah, one thing I really don't like, the doors are inconsistent, which ones are locked and unlocked, and honestly, they should just lock the ones that don't go further. I would love to petition them to just fix this quest. <laughs> just get rid of that. They don't have to change anything else about any of the layout or any of the spawns. Just please lock the doors so I know which way to go without having to write this down every time I play this quest. I beg of you. See, so yeah, I think this room is normally where you stop, because this is the third switch. We'll, we'll try to complete the quest, though. Then we'll go to new mop-up operation 3. Yeah, the, the four resets are mostly meant for solo play, where you're just playing by yourself and probably playing Ranger for Hugh Cass. So yeah, you would just literally log out at this point because you killed the last Pyrogoron. There's like a few left in the quest, but we got the majority of them already. Yeah, you can see like potentially we have to walk all the way back again. So if Talent wants to teleport... Actually, I don't think I put a telepipe down. My bad. I think I forgot. I'm bad. I think I put it down, then took it, and then forgot that I took it again. Oops. My bad. Oh, well. The, uh, this quest kind of has an unfortunate layout in that sense, where you have to just kind of backtrack a lot. Like, see how we have to come back to here? So technically, I actually, my telepipe was put back up. Disregard. I did do it correctly. I just forgot that I did it. I was on autopilot. Oh yeah, we're definitely going to need buffs. We'll see how far we get in a minute or so. At least we should pop boxes. And in the boxes. Untargetable. I don't super care if we time out, as I said before. I, we, we cleared to the point we would normally reset anyway. Since we're mostly a uh, still leveling party. Expected that things will not be like super ultra fast. Take that silver badge before it times out. Say you four fight to the death. Nice. Uh, I might as well just throw free straps down. I got nothing better to do. Yeah, you can see there's like not many pyros beyond this point. Yeah, we'll try new mop up operation 3 in comparison. Which I think as long as I get rest of spammed, I think we're okay with. That's fine. So for 3, you clear up to the third warp. And ideally, you could just finish the quest. It's just 11 more if you manage to finish. So we'll see how we feel about them in comparison. And again, some are going to be much easier if you're solo versus multiplayer. The XP is still pretty good because episode 4 XP is broken. Low Imperial Barrier. Yeah, otherwise, uh, I guess the only other quest you would even potentially consider would probably be Sweep Up Operation 12. It's an RBR. In fact, I don't even know what the RBR is. What is the RBR of this week? I haven't been paying attention at all. I'm sure I did it like three sessions ago. Sweep Up Operation 3, that's 
Doesn't matter. Lost Demon Brielle gun? No way. Word limits two? Uh Word limits two. Mm. <laughs> Those quests are very boring, chat. I would just I'm gonna call them out for what they are. They're not bad hunts, but they're just There's just really a lot there's just too much walking. Yeah, let's try new mop up operation three. The problem with War Limits is that, like, it, it, I think those are the quests you literally turn the toggle on to run because there's just nothing to do. War of Limits 1 in particular is very egregious with that. Where it, like, technically has, like, the most Astarks for blue ID limiter hunts, but it's just so much walking. I, I would 100% rather play, like, an endless quest over it for sure. Right, so we should be able to get into a pretty big killing spree here. So our goal is to confuse trap whenever possible. And just try to rack up damage. Speed things up. If they target me, it's not a big deal. We're saving our freeze traps for Goron detonators, because there's gonna be a lot of them in this run. Or if there's exactly five annoying targets, maybe I'll consider it. Close enough. Guys, real quick. A bronze badge, nice. Yeah, for the most part, if you're not sure as a force what to do, I would say it's really safe to Kafoe stack in most rooms. Or small rooms like these. The other rooms you could probably Rafoe. Because they're gonna be like a little too far apart most of the time for Kafoe to work. You got another minute back. This is where it gets tricky. So the other thing that'll probably happen is that we're gonna be babysat so that we don't die to the fire damage. Because the fire damage here gets kind of insane. But we might just have healing spam, which is not the worst thing ever. Yeah, I managed to confuse trap some of them, so this should do some good damage. Let me make sure to put my ray gun out, because I think there's a Goron detonator here. So making sure you shut down these waves is kind of imperative as a cast. Nice paralysis. Yeah, if we can manage to clear this, this is one of the best XP quests in the game. Typically you'll see a lot of forces run this on lower difficulties and rush people this way. So if you have like a two force party, or at least somebody else that heals while somebody else does damage, it goes pretty quickly. I am just going to use a Confuse Trap here. I will do anything to make them hurt each other faster. Yeah, them doing like 800 to themselves. I'm like, check, check plus plus for sure. If we don't have like literally insta-kill amounts of damage, I will absolutely Confuse Trap. Speaking of which... All of them are confused, get wrecked. And it just takes a lot of pressure off the other characters. So for the most part, you can just walk away from the one that's targeting you. And when it's down to just a couple, you just kind of target them like this and they die. Not too much to worry about. This wave I'm gonna absolutely risk it though. It's very risky to use Berserk, but I still think it's worth using. Thank you for the heal. Perish. There we go. With the constant heals, I think we're doing pretty good. Okay, we're averaging almost 300 experience a second without fighting any bosses. Which, as you can imagine, is pretty silly, and we're not even, like, ultra-optimal or anything. We're getting there. I don't think I need anything else. So let's go to the north. some boxes, maybe. Oh, nothing of interest, sadly. Alright, back to the cell. 
I do like at least checking that box, but I usually don't do a ton of box checks in this quest, sadly. Even though there are a lot of them, most of them are pretty far out of the way. And depending on where you end that other room, it's not too bad. Oh, wow, our health totals. Damn, look at my HP. Getting shredded over here. I'm definitely just gonna confuse trap this. No reason not to, it's just free damage. I can also put in some fire traps here if I want to, like if I'm repositioning to get extra damage. That's how I could squeeze out some DPS while walking forward with melee weapons. Yeah, this wave is always just kind of awkward because they're so far apart. I think what we try to do... Perfect! Somebody shot my free <laughs> freeze trap, that's what I wanted. Teamwork is real. Also, soundtrack please. I think I should be squeezed against cookies. Welcome for me, Uh, I don't think that really makes sense to do during an anniversary event. I think it's probably the worst time to do it. You're basically giving up solid boosts on other quests for very minimal differences with the cookies. I don't know. If this was like Halloween event, I would say maybe. Christmas event, sure. Depends on what the bonuses are. But welcome, Promethean. Yeah, because right now we could get some pretty crazy things like RT or any of these kind of side hunts. Heaven Striker's not too bad, I guess, to do in cookie runs. Back too quickly. It's unfortunate. There we go. There we go. Oh, the boosts are pretty solid. They're only a little bit under cookies right now, like 185 XP, uh, 145 in rare and drop rate. Like, they're actually really, really solid right now. This is like the time to do like more annoying hunts or like TTF. I'm gonna skip the healing circle there because I don't think I really need it. I basically want to avoid doing anything that'll slow me down unless I deem it necessary. Here's an example of like controlled runes in single player. Like I got hit a couple times, but look how much damage I did for the rest of the room. That's so like okay. I don't really care about that. He's done. Yeah. Almost. That's the Bowie stacking. Yeah, they're actually pretty solid this year. They're trying to encourage other players to play the anniversary quests, which we might do at some point. Right now I'm not in a rush. We might do that in the evening, we'll see. Or I might just go back to Endless Episode 1, because that is kind of my favorite quest. At least of the ones available. Hmm. Because I'm engaging them in melee, they're very rarely going to teleport on me. I do actually like playing Hunter into the Episode 4 stuff. We have a good Gafoe stack about where I'm standing here. I think we could just kill like every wave. Most of the enemies should spawn within that distance. Fine. 
I think team's playing a little too far away. Because the problem with that is, like, now they're, like, not within, like, disco range. I need them further up. A minimum. There we go. Perfect. Nice and simple. Alright, we're gonna speed this up a little. Um. Yeah, there we go. Now they're all grouping in the middle. That's what I want to see. Makes it much easier to partisan them out of existence. Uh, I guess in theory I could reset my freeze traps. I'll think about it. I am absolutely going to confuse trap this room. Too much damage I end up doing. And they almost died instantly. Some of them did get hit though, which is a bit sad. Man oh man, when they single target. It's like I see teammates hitting for 600, then they hit each other for like a thousand. So silly. Oh, I got clipped. Wasn't sure if he was going to target me or not. Unfortunate. Silly Hugh Cast and his forward moving uh, Disca. Putting me in kill range. This is an opportunity because I'm spamming traps. I will probably reset them. Unless I have a skip doll. Then I'll take the death. Uh, I only have one though. Real quick. I was gonna say, the, the human character should not be going for that healing circle. Get out of here. <laughs> I, I just want to reset my traps. I'm going to be spamming basically 12 traps, I think, in this room. So if I keep them grouped like... Th oh, they teleported. That is so unfortunate. I was going to say, if I keep them grouped, I can actually kill them with Jaya. But just one of them got away. So sad. Almost had them exactly where I wanted them. All it takes is one not following the plan to ruin it. We're going to back up slightly. Because I think what's happening is basically the shotgun shots are making them go crazy. Which is fine, I just have to account for that. How is the, I was gonna say, how is the zoo not getting hit by the Kapoe? Is this a Skyly run? No, it's a green ID. I didn't make the game, if that's what the question is. Nice, got a level up. There we go. Spook them. There we go. Yeah, this just a heaven striker run. Exactly. Okay, so yeah, I'm gonna book it. I think we could complete the quest. If I'm willing to burn some Jaya, I think we could complete it. 
with a lot of enemies. Unfortunately for them, they're about to hurt each other quite a bit. The next wave I want to make sure I freeze. This wave can get really gross. Yeah, this should work. Oh, never mind, team pulled some. Would have worked, past tense. And another freeze trap going. Alright, there we go. Uh, put down a Jaya. I think we could still clear this. I only need about a minute in the final room. Get a minute for clearing it. It's mostly just making sure we have time to reach it. Okay, I'm willing to burn some money to finish this run. That's fine. Perish. freeze traps that's more than enough yeah the music got more intense it's all you know all about the timing i'm leaving the bronze badge behind i don't care about it listen if it's gold badge i would have gone back for it bronze who cares i want to try to finish this although we have to get through another room to offer healing circles it's gonna be a tight clear i think just we could finish this up pretty quickly I'm just going to try to brute force ATP everything. It's the last one. <laughs> Look, Dale, I killed so many. How are there more? Goodbye, my money. You went to a good cause, which is finishing the run, potentially. We'll get about a minute back. I have 11 freeze traps. That's good enough to beat the run. I don't need any more. We're gonna go, go, go. So much experience. Most people have leveled at this point. We haven't even finished it. Do whatever I can to do damage. So I think between combos, I'm gonna put a fire trap out. This. And a freeze trap. So much damage. I'm like, okay, they need to die. We might be able to finish this round. It's going to be close. I don't have a gun to... Oh, I don't have a gun to deal with him. No, it was so deep in my inventory when I sorted. It sucks. I could use the charge ray gun, I guess. Not the one I was hoping to use. An uncontrolled zoo is very bad for this party. Let's get rid of this. Damn. It's going to be real tight if we can even do it, but I have to do nothing but this guy, I think, from this point forward. I need team to just run forward and freeze trap, and we should be able to win, I think. Nah, never mind. We have one more wave to go. We got really close, at least. I'll take it. Close. But hey, that was a lot of experience. 
Um, ba -ba 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 -ba. what the host? Guess what I can do? We do a green ID. The slot opens up, let me know. Uh, potentially Promethean. We'll probably do a couple runs. I'm just thinking about if I want to switch characters. Tycoon's offering to draw. I could potentially play a force into this. Forget about it. Yeah, why don't you make the game, Murphy? I'm gonna join as a force. I'm just thinking about who to play. I'm having indecision. I guess this is fine. I'll take up a four slot. We'll do episode four again. We're gonna do a. Uh, we're gonna go all the way to Galatine. So we're gonna do the epi the massive attack episode E or whatever it's called. Hmm. I don't think I super care about experience at the moment. So we're just gonna bring in damage. The only thing I really need is... Oh, that's right. His buttons are swapped. Forgot about that. Let's go fix that so that doesn't happen again. So I had that question last time. So it was... These don't do anything. Yeah, there we go. We're all good now. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to play ultra-aggressive, so Promethean can bring in whatever damage he wants to kill episode 4 with. There we go. I'm going to check my share bank because I would like to have certain barriers. Should be good. Oh, it's true. It is even beat. Yeah, I guess next run I could potentially even beat. Play a raw moral. Yeah, we'll do that next time. For now, let's see how it goes with this. Yeah, I could bring in another raw moral, because I have a white ID character I do want to level. Good call out on the even beat. Uh, massive attack, it's like the fourth one down. It should just be like massive attack E. You'll know it's the right one because we'll walk into the ring of rampies. We don't walk into the Ring of Rappies. It's not the right quest. Yeah, this looks right. Like my shiny, my shiny red ring. Which, ironically, I'm just gonna get rid of because I'm probably just gonna be a Bowie stacking. <laughs> Where's my Gafoe in this list? Oh, it's actually at a good spot. See, so yeah, I'll probably bring in a Raw Marl since she's pretty good at killing the boss, and I do need levels on her. But I'm gonna see how it goes with the Force. I think that's a good comparison. <laughs> I like just seeing the Heavenly Arms briefly pop up in the item reader. So I think the level 80 character is quote unquote in danger because they have to survive Dwarf on somehow. That's going to be interesting to witness. Also, the boss is definitely going to kill them. Rip. Alright, so I know I should only Rafoe here because I don't want to spook the Rappies. So, ooh, rare Rappy. So if I had Gafoe here, I probably would have spooked them. That's my little tech tip to people playing Force. Don't spook the rap beast during events. Now I can afford to get Bowie stock.
We're gonna go for frame perfect casts. I'm gonna use this menu to save me some mashing. I can stunlock the zoos, they're gonna kill the zoos. After that, it should be satellite lizards, and then behind me will be the dwarf on, which again will get hit by the Gaboe stack. So I'm not too worried here. They should be able to kill this between three ATP. One would hope. <laughs> between three APT ATP, the zoo dies. We'll see though. Yeah, so this wave is basically dead because I've been stacking. This saves them a lot of time. The Buddhas are immune to it, but I probably want to stack for the next wave, so I'll just slow them down. The thing with the forest is you have to think ahead. So because I didn't stop stacking, I basically deleted the satellite lizards. And then I get to injure the dwarf on pretty heavily. There we go. So I think that's probably the hardest thing to learn about playing Force, is like, when you're with a really strong party, you have to think not of your current wave, but of the wave afterwards. So I think they more than others, in some regards, are more difficult to play. I think when you start getting into traps and playing Hunter, I think that's where you hit like, a big difficulty spike for sure. But otherwise, it's like, oof. The amount of thinking ahead you need to do here. So these are Babudas, but I know the next couple of waves will be... I'm going to prepare for the wave after this wave. So the Astarks will be slowed down by, by my Gofoe, and they should be able to get a kill here. Because I'm setting up for a Satellite Lizard wave into a Satellite Lizard wave into a uh, Triple Astark. But I want to stop gofoe when I see Triple Astark. So it's more imperative that I do this, because it saves ATP teams a lot of time. So I know after this I'm going to stop spamming, because I know it's going to be triple Astar, so I can afford to take these guys down. So again, I'm thinking I'm thinking one wave ahead, and I've played this quest a lot, so it's probably like one of the few quests I kind of know. And then I like to retreat towards the bridge for safety, but technically I could go anywhere to avoid the Dorfons that are coming up. I'm just going to say no to them with a the little Gafoe there. So we're going to do what we can to pump the damage here. So there's like little optimizations we can do, and I'm sure there's even things I'm doing I can optimize even further, aside from like some equip swapping. But I mean, this is just kind of like the evolution of the gameplay. So I know there's going to be a lot of Rappies, and this wave is a little awkward to Kapoe stack on. But I think I'm just going to debuff them at first. I got a couple of the bullies out since I knew eventually they'd walk into them. But unfortunately, we're going to come across the, the Babuda wave, which is like the nightmare wave for forces. It's definitely my least favorite part of the run as a forest. You see, I'm committing to the Gafoe stack here. Although the next one, I think I don't Gafoe stack. But I'll probably do one more safety one just to slow them up. Yep. So I know that it's going to be this into Babudas. So I know that I should just focus on whatever I can to get them damaged here, and not worry about stacking. After this wave, though, I should stack. So once I've softened them up a little bit, then I go back to Kapoe stacking. So again, we're, we're trying to plan waves in advance. I could probably debuff the Astark here. Oh, nice freeze, actually. Oh, perfect. You can't ask for more, and then I go right back to Kapoe stacking for the next wave. Because it's going to be like zoos and satellite lizards, which I don't care about. Although at some point, I should probably stop Kapoe stacking, because it is Dorfon. This is probably the wave I need to work on the most. Like, when this one dies, I don't, what is the best position to be to deal with the Dorfon without interrupting them too early? That's something I'm still kind of exploring myself. But <laughs> I just want you to know, like, I swear, sometimes I actually know waves. I just, I don't always know what the best thing to do with them is. So that room, that wave specifically, I need to think about 
how do I get the dwarf ons to charge? Where can I get people to stand in order to potentially get an easy dwarf on kill? It looks like they spawned on either side of the room. Oh, I guess I'll walk backwards to bait the dwarf on here. Oh, wait, oh, it's not the event quest. I'm sorry. The event quest, there's a dwarf on there. My bad. Got an S part yesterday in gambling. Nice, nice. <laughs> I was going to say, you're going to be Dango's best friend. In the event quest, by the way, that's a double dwarf on wave. That's what I was thinking there. So the event quest just has slightly more dwarf on overall. So technically, if we just want to do the surface version of this quest, we could just do the event surface. So if we're not feeling confident about boss kills, but we wanted to specifically farm like the heavenly battles while contributing, that's that's probably the most noticeable difference to me. The one that actually scares me. Because <laughs> I'm like, wait a minute, the dwarf on spawn is rude. So we're coming up to a couple waves that I can't really go foey. But I guess it doesn't hurt to keep a couple stacks out for it, I guess. So this will at least slow them down. I see how, like, the Astark reels. It just gives the team more time to deal with it. I could do another one just to prevent a zoo dive bomb, I think. Yeah, that should be fun. I was double checking where on the map the zoo spawned, but I had guessed correctly. I shouldn't sec second guess myself there. I feel like I've done this quest enough. But it's another one where I should probably focus on debuffing rather than buffing. So I guess I could also glide divine, make this a bit easier. So we know when we see the, what is it, quintuple Astark that we go away to the side, or quadruple. So we're all gonna gather here. If you don't, I'm going to be very sad, because there's not much that can happen if you kill it out there. The reason being is that if the Astarks charge us here, they just kind of die. We're going to just let them die. Then we're going to do a little, little baby Gafoe. You can see they all pause right in front of you. So that's where, like... <laughs> that's about where my knowledge, like, kind of ends. Where, like, I, I feel like there's parts of this quest I do very well. And there's others I still need to clean up. But, like, being able to guide players to do that and just be in the right spot is kind of important. But hopefully you saw at least medium-level gameplay. <laughs> I'm not going to go on high-level gameplay. But, uh, that's an example where if you take charge of the, the quest, make it go very quickly. I'm going to get rid of this Black Hound. Definitely cookie-level gameplay. So we have Gorons in two zoos, I think. So when I see the zoos, I know it's always going to be a Marissa wave. So unfortunately, I know there's going to be enemies near the entrance, which are Pyrogorons, which I don't really want to contend with. I'm actually going to walk forward a little more after we deal with these Goron detonators. So these quests will be very similar to the anniversary quests, because they base basically the entirety of it <laughs> on this particular quest. So if you play the event Surface and Desert, this look, probably should look familiar to you. Yeah, so I walk forward to hopefully not be hit by these Pyrogorons. I'm getting hit by them, that's unfortunate. Like, I need to be somewhat centered, so there's not too much wiggle room I have there. So we know there's Zeus coming up, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to continue to stack Kofoe. Since I know the wave after that is the Marissa wave, and that's usually the thing that Heaven Striker players have problems dealing with. So as long as they kill the zoo, I should be able to deal with their biggest threat more or less instantly. You can see the difference there. Like, having to deal with them when they're at 1600 versus 3100 something health is so much easier. So I should walk forward a bit to stop the Rappies from despawning. That one I almost always forget about. But, you know, we, we clean it up. So fortunately, I don't have to worry about too much. There's going to be a double Marissa Gertabulu wave in, like, a little bit. But for now, I could just spam fire. I don't think there's anything that resists me for the remainder of the, this room other than Gertabulu. Right. I'm now weakened the Marissas. I'm going to just go ahead and use Rikoi to hit them a little faster. Do some good old Granson and some Zaloran. The Rappies. 
the upcoming room, I should probably be the person that starts it. So we know it's going to be um, triple zoo into quadruple Goron Detonator. But the Goron Detonator is spawned on the bottom, like the bottom left of the room and the top right. So normally what'll happen is if a cast times a freeze trap well, they can leave a freeze trap in the bottom left and run to the upper right to deal with them. We were practicing that a little bit on stream before. So if people want to position for the upper right and the bottom left, I highly recommend you do so, because we're about to get hit by them. If I go in the dead center of the room, I can actually debuff all of them. That's my little tip as a force. So I could try to stall the whole room. But ultimately, I need to give up doing this in order to deal with the Marissas that are after this. Because it's more imperative I deal with the Marissas than I, the Goron Detonators. So I know that once they go below half health most of the time, I could switch over to Gafoe Spam. So, <laughs> hope you're taking notes. So unfortunately, the bad guys are behind me. I was a little out of position there. That's fine. We're going to slow them down with some Gafoe. I think the next wave is Satellite Lizard. Oh, it's Gorons, my bad. It's Gorons first. So either way, uh, when the Rappies inevitably descend from the middle of the room, I want to be roughly in the middle of the room to kill them instantly. So I want to be as about as dead center as I can be for this wave. And hopefully I am dead center. We'll find out, though. Yeah, I was thinking of this wave. So we know eventually it's going to be a ring of Rappies, but because they can land on the Gafoe, the more centered I am as a force, the faster this wave will be annihilated. Here we go, this is the wave I'm talking about. You'll see them, they almost died instantly. There's just really fast cleanup for the team. So at this point, I can probably stop the Bowie spamming. Switch over to Zalore. Uh, I guess I can stun lock with Brazond until the team's good. I don't really need to do damage, I just need to make sure that the Zoos aren't doing anything. And that's that room cleared. Yeah, this room isn't too different, I think, in the event quest. I, in fact, I don't even think there's a different question mark. I put a question mark there. Hmm, this room should be a uh, satellite lizard, so a confused trap is usually how I open this room, knowing that afterwards we're going to be dealing with triple Goron detonator in the back. So ideally what I'm going to do here is I'm going to try to set up for the Goron Detonator. So if you know there's going to be one dead center and then one on the left and one on the right, you can technically set up Freeze Traps for that if you want to. Because the Freeze Traps work for quite a while and it can potentially lead to a really nasty stun, depending on how you've done it. Yeah, that's pretty good. At least Freezing 2 is pretty solid. I'm never going to complain about that. I've seen people have uncontrolled versions of these and it's just terrible when they're allowed to teleport. Oh, I got hit out of my Gafoe. That's unfortunate. Fortunately, that should still be good enough to stun the zoos. Uh, music please, no. No. Next song. Next song. Fortunately, that now has me off my rhythm. Darn you, Yakuza 7, don't lyric me. Is this the same song? Yakuza soundtrack, please. Something else. Better. So unfortunately, got a little distracted there due to the lyrics. With all that streamer problems. Please don't be lyrics. Okay, good. Right, we're gonna warm up a little bit with Gafoe. Fortunately, I'm still sacking Gafoe for the Marissas. It's seriously lyrics again. Stop it. Pick anything other than lyrics, please. Alright, we'll take this. Whatever this is. I'm getting trolled in real time while trying to do a quest. Uh, I think I've regained control. So I know it's going to be double Goron Detonator into um, Gertabulu. So I think from that standpoint, my Gafoe will stunlock them briefly. But I basically just need to Zalore them. I get the chance. Game, please. Thank you. Okay, let's reapply some buffs and then uh, go back to murder. So sadly, I did get distracted a little bit, but when in doubt, it's still better to Gafoe, even if there's mixed damage in there. With the intent being that it's going to stun the ones that take partial damage. So not much really changes there. This room can be kind of annoying because it starts with a mix of Gorons and Pyrogorons. But we know ultimately we need to go to the far side of the room. Oh, I'm getting wiped out. 
was gonna say, give me, give me, some, give me a moment, team. I need to apply buffs. Do we know there's gonna be triple Goron Detonator here? That's what I was going to say. And then after that, we need to go back to the center because we know there's gonna be a double Goron Detonator. And from my standpoint, I'm just looking to stun lock. I'm not so much worried about the next wave here because the team is really just getting party wiped by them. Okay. I think you, I can reapply your defense. Alright, so we know after we're done with this wave, it should be... I think it's double Goron Detonator for Rappies. And even if it... Even if it isn't, this is still fun. Yeah, that's the wave I was thinking it was. Good freeze, good freeze. So my... Gafoe will hit, like, the, the normal Goron wave. I just have to make sure to debuff briefly. And then prepare for this wave. So once we're past this, we're going to get a mixture of, like, oops all ice monsters, which is kind of annoying. It's one of the few times I can't really go foe spam. We're coming up to it. I just have to make sure to debuff so the team doesn't just get totally bodied. And then we go right back to a simple go for slowing down the enemy. Perfect. That should slow them down and injure them. So the zoo is slightly to my right. You can't see it. My character's looking at where the zoo is. The zoo flew away a little bit. We're gonna kill the zoo. So we know we're basically at the Goron Detonator wave, so I guess I could, in theory, kept stacking Gafoe there, I guess. But I wanted to make sure that we at least uh, Zulord the Goron Detonator with Jelen as well. Then the final wave after this should just be single Gurdabulu. In the event quest, there's two Gurdabulu here. Check is nice if you're looking for limiters. So now I have a choice of what to do. I'm going to hope that the enemy weakness is fire. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to switch out of Gafoe completely. I'm going to switch into Rafoe. Uh Ideally, I'm probably going to need a Rebarter merge since most of the time the bosses will be weak to that. So even if it's Conjuru versus Saint Million, both of them have ice weakness on final form. The only thing where I get mixed up is what their spinners are weak to. So we'll find out in real time, but thank you for the tri fluid. So I'll probably have to solo bully this boss, which is fine. I don't really care if I have to or not. I'm going to go slightly to the right to avoid stacking with other players. We got the rare boss. Unfortunately, I didn't trigger the cutscene. Somebody beat me to it by a little bit. So that is a little unfortunate. The team is on their own here, I think. So boss trigger got broken. So I, I'm sadly not fighting anything. But I can heal spam. So we did get rare boss, which I think is unfortunate because I think that means we get Centurion ability and not Galatine. Yeah, I don't have enemies either. I think because somebody... Oh, I'm stuck on something? Is this where the boss is? What is this? What am I stuck on? So yeah, unfortunately it's down to them to hit the boss. I think once they hit the weak... Oh, I see an enemy finally. There we go. What? What? Oh, he's so glitched out on my screen. Oh, episode 4, you don't make any sense. Poor episode 4, we glitched it. Oh, is that the end of the Yakuza soundtrack? That's awkward. So, I could go in and heal somebody if they want to laser spam. I could also participate to some extent in the boss fight. The boss will always spawn in the upper right room. This room at least has a rock, which is nice. So I guess I can at least... Oh, you're gonna Buran's launcher? I don't know about that. That's gonna make it super uneven. Uh, I would say don't do that. <laughs> Rip. So we have to use Ice, which is kind of annoying because it's very short range compared to our other options. Almost time to heal to be fast enough there. I would recommend just walking away, honestly. I think I'm fine. Honestly, I kind of needed somebody with the uh, Q laser. Because the problem is, like, if you hit it unevenly, it just makes the fight very, very hard. And then if I have to revive people, that's not good. 
just just run. Uh, I'll donate, but you're gonna die. <laughs> Boss is gonna say goodbye. Oh, invincibility. We'll take that. Uh, at least I could do damage to the boss. So I'm gonna choose not to do anything. Keep running, keep running, keep running. We're gonna get a free Rabarta there. But the trick is, when you see it reeling backwards, do not attack it as a force. I see too many force players, like, not respect that it's moving backwards. Like, there, don't attack it. If you do that, it's gonna get horribly desynced. I could get a free Rabarta here, though. So most I need to do is two Rabartas to fix it, or I can grant it as it goes underground. So this is still fixable. I fixed it. So even though it got, like, desynced by one hit, we now don't have to worry about the other cores. So the team should be able to kill this pretty quickly. But it is kind of sad we got the green ID one where we're just going to get, like, Centurion. <laughs> so I felt like we got trolled a little bit. Kind of unfortunate. Yeah, the boss requires a pretty high amount of health to survive. So I think we were talking before it was, like, 880. So this is like the boss where I'm like, I don't mind people helping, but it's very hard to get through the lasers. Lasers say no. Damn, I didn't even get the, the rare from it. That's so sad. Laser with 40 hit, useless. Oh, you got photon drop? Damn. Poor Kaiser. I got, uh, moneyed? No, I got scaped all. I mean, I'll take the scaped all. So yeah, careful control with the force can lead to a quick clear of that one. I like that you get tickets for clearing the quest, though. That's always kind of nice. So yeah, it's just... Oh, did I switch to Robarta Merge midway through? I didn't. Oops, I'm bad. I talked about it, but forgot. So what we can do... I would recommend them since we have like just not quite enough raw stats i'm wondering as an alternative i'm gonna put these away i'll leave the red ring on i wonder if we just do the event desert or heaven striker if that would work i do want galatine but i think we need more hp on some of the people before we do another quest clear that was mm, my takeaway. And then we can avoid the Dwarfon, which is like the big killer of low HP people. And there's nothing we really want on surface is green anyway. Yeah, let's give that a go. I'll bring in a PP laser. So sadly, that means that we're going to have a little bit of a struggle versus Marissa's. So that's where, if you can memorize where the Marissa's are as a cast and where the Grod detonators are. That's all you need to do. <laughs> Everything else is just murder spree. We're gonna go ahead and swap out. Bring in a pew pew laser. Not bad. At least we could say we tried for a Galatine. No worries, Murphy. The only rule of thumb for Marissa's is they are very early on, and usually they're after Zoos or a Grand Detonator. If I see either of those, I get super suspicious. <laughs> so if, if I feel myself doubting myself, I'm like, uh oh. If I see those waves, sadness will follow. Let's see how this character handles it. So I'm gonna bring in the Pew Pew. Not equipped with a unit. Okay, put a Centurion on. So my MST is okay, my defense is okay. Should be fun. So we'll do uh, the event quest Desert, which will be very similar to the other one that we did. The only exception is that there are more Gerdabulu at the end. Otherwise, it's like almost wave for wave the same. Like even how it does like the double Goron detonator, um, Gerdabulu is the same. So honestly, it just feels like they- <laughs> oops all ranger, yeah, pretty much. It pretty much just feels like they copy-pasted the other quest. So for those that don't know what I'm talking about, you're gonna be like, wait, didn't you just play this a moment ago? Rah rah, fight the ATP, something like that. So we're gonna start with, off with Gorons into... Lizards, I think, into zoos. That is not the right mag. 
There we go. Back to Pew Pew. So this wave is a little dangerous. We know after this will be some lizards into the pyros. So I could position for the pyros. We didn't get to see them last time. I'm going to preemptively go over here so I can see them. I'd prefer to not be anywhere near that doorway when they spawn. Like, no thanks. Yeah, see that? Now we could now we could see what bullied me earlier in the other quest. As I said before, the waves are like almost verbatim. So if all we're looking to do is underground underground, it's not too bad. So unfortunately we know that a Marissa wave is coming. We see the telltale lone zoos by themselves. They herald the danger of the next wave. This is gonna be an interesting wave that might need a freeze trap, we'll see. Oh, they put a Gertabulu here. Oh, I forgot. They put a Gertabulu in, <laughs> in this room. I talked about that last time. My bad. Then after that will be the Marissa spawn. So that's that's the difference. They're like, surprise Gertabulu, but then get marissa Silly episode quest. So anyway, that Gertabulu doesn't exist in the other version that we just did. I'm going to switch back to Charge Arm, since Pew Pew Laser honestly doesn't do damage to them. Otherwise, we could be here forever. I'm going to go near the Rappies and try to kill them. Yeah, not spooking. Remembering that these are here is probably the hardest part of the run, because they're super easy to spook as a force. So I, I always get mad at myself when I forget exactly when they spawn. The rest of these waves should be pretty free. So this character, I think, can just barely survive the episode 4 boss. I think if we were to play after we do this quest, I could probably solo that boss down. Striking it with max stats. Oh no. Okay, yeah, here's the Gertabulu Marissa wave we've dealt with before. And we know that one of us will have to lock down the upcoming triple zoos, and as I said before, it's kind of a split whether, you know, if, if you can gauge how quick we're gonna kill the zoos, you could put a freeze trap in the bottom left of the next room and then wait in the upper right with a freeze trap. But some of that is just kind of depending on, you know, you know your freeze trap is going to last about, what is it, eight seconds before it auto detonates. So you have to predict or at least start moving when they're at half health. Because the nice thing is if you leave it in it, you're at the middle of the room, it's not too bad. My bad. If you leave it in the middle of the room, it's not too bad because the worst that happens is you flub a single freeze trap. I guess I can do the Rivarda here, because this is fine. So just be wary. I would probably set up for a Freeze Trap real quick. And I can probably stunlock the other two. Nice Freeze. Yeah, that that that's the power. See, unfortunately, normally you would want to play with two casts in this quest, specifically so that you don't have to do that. But it's nice that you can do that, because this makes this room like a lot more controlled. Because before I did that, I'd always have like one Gordon Detonator go on a, like a killing spree of low-level players. So eventually I learned how to deal with that with just one pass. Okay, I'm in the right position to debuff. I'm definitely going to debuff here. Also, I switched on to Black Center. Okay. So basically the ATP will generally always focus the zoo. We as laser users will probably always go for the Gorons or whatever. We're, we're kind of like forces in that sense. We have a similar target priority where we care about like lots of weak enemies and not the big bad. Also, we moved on to like a dragon infinite wealth, which I have not played at all. Maybe eventually I'll play it. Although I'm not gonna lie, I, I don't know how excited I am to have another Kiryu story. I did actually like having new protagonists. So it's good that potentially he might voice other characters in the future. Like in some of the spin-off games. I'm gonna slow down this Gertabulu, I think. Finder. 
Donk. I guess I'll pick up a skip donk. Yeah, this room is merciful for cast, just because I know it's going to be Satellite Lizard, so like, I, or the equivalency thereof. The tricky part is afterwards, so I know there's going to be double or triple Goron Detonator at the back of the room, so I would recommend you just book it. If you can put multiple Freeze Traps along the top of the room, that would be great. <laughs> it's just, just know they're going to be in a line, so the worst thing that'll happen is you'll just learn their positions. We're going to hopefully clean this up. Oop, team stopped doing damage for some reason, that's unfortunate. Oh, good freeze, good freeze. Nice. There we go. See that? Problem mostly solved. <laughs> yeah, having that kind of lockdown control is so key. I'm not quite there with some of the, like, the more commonly run runs, but this one. This one I feel actually somewhat confident on. Like, I don't usually try to go out of my way to memorize stuff, but... I guess due to raw number of hours in this quest, I have it mostly solved. There's just like a couple of spawns where I'm like, hmm, what would be the best in the X composition? But being forced to play as all characters here, I think I have a good understanding of what I want. Goodbye, Satellite Lizard. Definitely gonna charge on. Yeah, I think with us leveling just a little more like this, I wouldn't mind doing the surface again. But I think it's just important we get the XP up here. And the nice part is, I don't think it's technically needed for the event anymore since this is like the second most run quest in the anniversary event. But it's nice that we could say we participated in added points, even if it's just a little bit of overkill. Slightly too close to the Gardabulu. My bad. I'm just gonna go ahead and try to normal attack to unlock the Goron Detonator. That's kind of the nice thing. Like, you could stop him from attacking completely just with normal, 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 and there's not much you could do about it. In this scenario, we can ship out the Goron Detonator and kill the uh, other character. Uh, I would say that if you're ever first in the upcoming room where it goes into the kind of open room where it's kind of like the watery area, if you run through and do a Confuse Trap, you can kill them pretty quickly, because they, they do so much damage to each other. But if it's another room like this one, where it's like Dark Cavern Exterior, or whatever. Yeah, I usually just literally run through and laugh at them. If I'm playing a disc user, this is like the freest cleanup ever. And then it puts you on the right side of the room to Freeze Trap too, because remember, there's a Goron Detonator at the other end. So, like, it, it, it feels like it's actually perfectly set up to be a cast. Like, when you realize that they're creating a runway for you to enjoy, it, hel it helps you remember it. <laughs> As I like to think I'm going down the pretty runway <laughs> where I trap them and blow them up. A lot of silver badges I gotta pick up. Nice. I'm gonna go ahead and stun those nice freeze trap on the detonator. There we go. Nice control. Do you know we only have a couple problem waves coming up, which are the Zeus and the Marissas? That's yet another good freeze trap. We'll try to reward you by chipping them out at a distance. Now we have the kind of panic wave. This one I just... I, I don't know a good way to deal with this wave. Other than, like, just debuff and hopefully nobody dies. So unfortunately at the end of this room, it's not single Gerdabulu as a warning, it's going to be double Gerdabulu. So be prepared to just fight in twos versus the Gerdabulus after we're done with this wave. This is a heads up. So I'm probably going to take the entrance door since I'm closest to it. Are you really going to kill me? Stupid too. I'm going to be on my lookout for the double Gerdabulu. Oh, I'm sorry, we have the Grand Detonator first. So then. But anyway, once this thing is done with, I'm going to keep an eye on the entrance door. Since my expectation is double Gerdabulu in this event quest. Sadly, it doesn't really do anything for Green ID. Speaking of which, like you did not have a turn. Nicely done, team. Good shutdown. 
So yeah, this quest is like almost point for point the same as the other quest. So that's why I find it funny when we do this one. Just there's more boxes at the end, which is kind of nice because it is decent box drops actually. Let me pick up like the millions of badges. Yeah, not too bad. We'll do this one more time, and then I think we'll do one more episode 4 run, now that we have some levels with us. Because it's worth almost 200,000 experience. It's like not even low due to the bonuses of the event. So it's just good extra damage for the team. Solid jump team. We just kind of manhandled them with giant lasers and traps. <laughs> just blew everything up. Nice use of paralysis to lock down Gertabulu. Yeah, I was kind of laughing doing the anniversary events. I'm like, oh, it's literally one of my most run quests because all I do is episode 4 boss. I'm like, okay. We'll just do components of it, I guess. I think I need one more level up to survive the boss. Welcome, RJ Chaos. Yeah, we'll do one more event. Because I think by the time I clear it, I should be at 900, which I think is enough to survive the lasers. Worst thing that happens is I can pop on a Heavenly and get rid of a Centurion ability. So yeah, we'll do one more Massive Attack Episode 4, and then if there's another quest we want to do after that, we can talk about it. Like, if we want to do the surface version of Desert or something, or a Crater, in theory, we could. Just want to make sure the team's getting uh, item hunts they're interested in. Figured Heaven Striker would be a good one to go for. Time. Nice. Freeze trap. Love it. A little bit of some lore in there just to kill him a little quicker. I'm gonna put my axe to the wall here. How are the runs so far? Not bad. We're uh, leveling up some mostly fresh characters. We had uh, Promethean come in with a level 80. They're already 92 to give you an idea of the experience. So he's just gradually doing a little more. Getting trolled by these lizards being untargetable. Why are they untargetable? There we go. So we know that there's going to be a Gurdabulu this time, and it's going to be near the entrance door. So we could prepare for that a little bit at a time. Wow, that zoo is really high up there. That is really goofy looking. It went to heaven, apparently. Hopefully you're doing well, RJ Chaos and Remote Battery. I'm about to get swarmed by Marissa's, though, so my mileage is about to vary. Get rid of these guys real quick. I want to make sure not to spook the Rappies. <laughs> I almost did. I almost shot them full screen, which is not what I want to do. Like, give me your badges. Doing VR Crater runs for lame. Ooh. VR Crater runs for lame. Are you doing, like, Viridian? Confused. What idea are you running? Get rid of these. Oh, not VR, Viridian. Uh, now I understand. <laughs> I, 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 mis I misread that as a quest name. I got confused for a second. We're good. You mentioned it. Uh, I was going to say, we could eventually do some Sky Desert for Pyrogorons or more Episode 2 shenanigans. I'm never opposed to Episode 2 shenanigans with Pink ID. I do like doing that quest.
Ooh. So it looks like what happened is that team has to... Okay. So there's a little trick I do that I, I don't think I verbalized to the team earlier. Whenever you walk out the door, make a slight motion to the left and then continue straight. That slight deviation is what stops them from uh, doing that awkward one person stays behind to dive bomb. If you're wondering why I'm able to do it, I purposely do that little movement coming out of the uh, doorway. Looking for a lane with at least 15 hit. Nice, nice. We'll probably do some of those today. Rain some death upon them. I'm in a good position to debuff, which is exactly where I want to be. So I'm purposely putting myself behind the wave. Usually I like to be in front, or if I'm a Hue cast, I like to be to the side of that wave, because I've learned that I really love to disco Brave Man that wave. It's just like such a good lineup, and it's so satisfying to hit all of them. But I feel like if my back is to that wall, I'm kind of facing the this wave for very clear strikes. I get some easy kills. Let me revive uh, Kaiser there. See, so yeah, if team doesn't mind bringing some help, we could do some Phantasmal World 2 once we do one of these runs. Because again, it, as long as we have hell, it goes pretty quickly, to be honest with you. We just mostly have to worry about gibbles. That's about it. That is a dead group of enemies. I'm gonna walk forward to not get hit by the Gertabulu, because last time I didn't walk forward far enough. Remember that last time? Let's unlock these zoos. Which accomplished. Okay. Wait a few seconds, wait a few seconds, put a fireball down, take the badge and move. Power material. Oh, it's on the other side. Fortunate. There we go. Perfect confused trap. And then you're almost in position for the awful Goron detonators. And once you see them getting low, do those panic freeze traps. Run. There we go. Nice panic freeze trap. I'll help you out. Get his lore going. We know there's going to be bad news in the middle. I should probably move out of the way. Get in position for the Zeus. Definitely don't want to be where the Goron Detonator is about to be. Nice. Nice paralysis to shut that wave down completely. Good job. Love to see the evolution of the run. Music's kind of nice. Is that before? I, I think I really like the music in the game. I'm not sure I always like the gameplay or some of the side quests. There we go. Striker plus. I'm gonna debuff so I don't take damage here. Good call. I would have gotten slapped for like 300 there. move away from Gertabulu. Let's get all of them if I back up slightly. Good enough. Nice and simple. I'm gonna let the cast go first and just have fun doing the little traps. The walk-up confused trap into freeze trap is brilliant. I love it so much. Go forth with your buffs. <laughs> we'll give them a moment to set up, and then let's go punish. War. So he's going to be in a good position for the Goron Detonators, and then I'm in a good position to hit them from here. Whatever. I 
shut down. So, so I got red ring last night? I did. It was a very dumb run. <laughs> I was like 0% away. I was playing on my uh, retired phone Some Somewhat as a joke. Oh, I shot it. Oh, my bad. I shot it. That was my bad. I was pressing the button before I realized the trap was there. Definitely my bad. Lieutenant Mantle betrayed me. And the nice part is we're just getting a nice amount of raw stats. We want to do feature TTF with these characters. This character is so close. I think I have to go back for a heavenly HP. I think I could survive this, even with the level ups. I think I'm legitimately off by like eight chat. It's so sad. Even if I level here, it doesn't matter. We're getting some pretty crazy experience for a second. I would just like to say we're like 300 plus. This is a good quest for leveling. I love that it's like a standard boss run too. Focus on the door boss again. There we go. Promethean got bullied out of the room. Or Promethean. Get rid of the Gertabulu. So I'm gonna go back for Heavenly HP because I just I know for a fact I'm not gonna live. I swear if we get Conjury again, I will get tilted. I'm not gonna lie. Like when we go to do the full run through the quest, I'm 100 percent getting tilted. I, I better not see Conjure you again when we're on green ID. Uh, I'm just gonna flick some materials and hand it in, I guess. So I guess if for whatever reason they still have not maxed it, I will help them max it here. Alright, let's do one boss run for real, and then let's switch what quest we're doing. Unless we're going to do Cannon Rouge or something, then I don't care. But then we're not going to do a full boss run, I don't think. You're just collecting items to turn to cookies later, that's fair. Damn, I really need a Cannon Rouge. It is it is actually getting sad how bad my Cannon Rouges are. Like, technically, if we find Rare Dwarf on, it's worth it, I guess. Let's see how it goes. Oh. The old quest. Oops. So I'm thinking I should level because we're going to do the surface plus underground, but I will bring a heavenly HP just in case. We go back to the bank to go get that real quick. I don't think I have one on me. Yeah, I don't have one on me. So that means I should be able to do it. Need used to get divine mates every game. Um... It depends on how much healing support you get. Sadly, I don't think any of us are healing you, so our bad, I guess. Yeah, so if I need to, I can pop on the Heavenly HP. I'm gonna hope I just get a little, a little bit higher. This is abandoned rares. I'll go pick them up. I mean, Striker Plus is 50 points. I'm not going to say no to that. Into the... Into the depths it goes. Why that one's worth 50 points and more than, like, most of the items in the game? I don't know. It's not even good. It's not even, like, a higher star, either.
Okay, so let's do a uh, massive attack -y. Three PD for a max that one, nice. Yeah, but it's like also it 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 is and it isn't sometimes. I swear, it just it's very silly. <laughs> the cookie monster is with us indeed. Yeah, maybe in the evening we might return to episode four. I'm feeling almost episode four out, so we'll have to switch switch it up a little bit. But I figured this quest is just basically variations of the same. Not too bad for people trying to actually learn the quest. So I gotta be very careful, no spooking. There we go. Done. This room is about to get nuked. I should technically be using power shots because my ATP is okay. And 60 is fine. Not like god tier, but it'll get me through with Heaven Striker normal shots. Yeah, in the evening I might have chat humor me for a cannon rouge. I want it so bad, chat. No idea. I'm a little sad none of us have seen a Heaven Striker so far. We've done quite a few runs at this point in desert. I'll forgive the game if it gives one of us a Galatine. Come on, Rare Dorfon. Come on, Rare Dorfon. I haven't seen you in so long. Because technically these runs when we do the surface, technically is canon move. And it's at 145 rare, so it's not like the worst odds of seeing it. Yeah, it would be a lot of Redria. Like, technically, Green ID also gets it. Technically, air quotes. It's just, it's so rare to just not really expect it, comparatively. Just because you have to contend with the normal drop rate, uh, or the normal spawn rate of rares, and there's not many Dwarf Ons in the quest compared to Bahudas on top of that. laser the Zeus or else they're gonna get out of control. Nicely done. Team's gonna wrap that up. Let's undraw off. I'll take that. Do we know when it's the triple Astar? We have to avoid the dwarf on. But we'll probably do this quest, uh, the surface version of this quest for red. Although honestly doing a full red quest is also not terrible. It just, we only get Heavenly Battle or Centurion, which are just kind of okay. Nice paralysis, I appreciate that. Makes the cleanup really easy, although I'm noticing a distinct lack of Dwarf on a clear. Right chat one day. Also, I forgive the game if any of us got a V101 from the zoos. That too. <laughs> then I'm then I'm willing to give it a pass for not giving a Heaven Striker so far. I'm gonna shake my head. Yeah, I've got 96. Kasame is already 118. Kasame was 80 yesterday. A little under, actually. Buff Kasame. By Astar. Yeah, you can see my crits are doing like 900 plus. But definitely, even though it's like a Quantum World Heaven Striker run, it's not all PP Laser. You get good ATP, you really should just attack if it's one target. I am not in a good position. I thought the silent lizard was gonna go past me. I was off by two steps. And that's where positioning matters. Another PD. Okay. There we go. Yeah, so 
so I do like insane damage here. Goodbye. Yeah, normally this is like the room for Cannon Rouge. This wave, I guess the right call is to just a little mini fireball. Like this, yeah. Huh. I guess that works. I mean, as long as I'm not Gafoey spamming, I guess that's fine. <laughs> it's like, see, chat, we're just doing on the fly Gafoey adaptations. It's like it's fine. I'm, I'm going to solve this room in a way that I like it to be more consistent. But I don't mind being dead center in that room. It's just awkward when you're a force and you have lingering Gafoey. Also, I definitely walk backwards to dodge the door bomb that are there in the event quest. But alas. You know, most of the way to leveling, I don't think I'm gonna get enough HP. But I'll take any damage boost I can get. Like, I got 844 MST, which I think is fine. It's much higher than normal, put it that way. Normally, I'd be at like 600 or so. My laser damage is actually real. Because I kind of envision this character potentially doing, like, limiter reset runs and or tower. And, uh, I'm kind of doing both. I just have other people hosting. That way I could get stronger to create my own white ID runs later. Oops. Did not turn as sharply as I wanted. There we go. What I wanted. Pew, pew, pew. Goodbye, Yahweh. Little off center. There we go. Perfect. Uh, this should be good. I like how this the zoo is just like exactly where I wanted it to be. I'm like, I'm hoping that's where the zoo was. I'm like, good. Descend to me descend to me and get shot repeatedly. That'll show you. Nice paralysis. This wave is done. So we know we're coming up to the Astark wave, so we'll group up together and rely on the paralysis of our friends. Couldn't lure them. I would recommend backing up a little. There we go. Sadly, no dwarf on a clear. That was a nice clean kill. I like it. I was gonna say, this character needs a red ring chat. <laughs> so, does, so does the Humar. We have two more red rings to go, I guess, unless I make another ranger. I don't really care about it on my other forces at all. Right, let's go. Debuff. Debuff. GG. I'm gonna do normal attack stuns, I think. Perfect. I'm gonna back up a little more. I'm not going to look for the Gerda Fulu, because that's only in that other quest. Perfect. The stupid Paragoranta is so far from me, I don't care what they do. That's how I like it. Like, listen, I don't feel like dealing with them. Nice level up from the team. I'll perish. Uh, I'll fight this one. the time. This is where my ATP is just kind of eh. 
works. Damn, spook rappies. Bronze badge, though. Nice and simple cleanup. Got 12,000 from leveling, not too bad. Make sure I resonded that to make sure the uh, Happy didn't get away. Goodbye, Gerda Bulu. Maybe one of the streams I'll just gamble my bronze badges. We, we haven't done a on stream gamble in forever. Remember when I used to do that chat while waiting for people? Then an eternity. Alright, I'll, I'll set it up. So I'm gonna go slightly left, I'm gonna go slightly back right. The dive bomb. There's not an there's not a science to it as long as you just literally walk in a straight line, I think it works. Uh okay. Let's go first unlock here. Uh oh, uncontrolled Grand Detonator. Buff time. There we go. I just know I don't want to be in the middle because I don't want to deal with the Marissas. I say that's a that's a broadcast problem. That's not a me problem. I'm out of there. Nice level up. I is that actually enough health? Maybe. Eight ninety nine might actually be enough. I always forget. There's one enemy where it's 898, and I think there's one where it's 908. So I think I survived one of them? Question mark? I'll still probably equip the Heavenly. And then if I see that, it doesn't kill me. I just put the Centurion back on. Aiming fail. It's four enemies. They're just getting absolutely obliterated. Out of the center. I could stack a Bowie, technically. Then I'm not in like a great position to punish from dead center. Let me deal with the zoos. You're dead. Perfect. We still have so much of even beat left, it's kind of crazy. Tried walking away. Uh, finders. Perfect Confuse Trap, that'll give time for the Goron Detonator. There we go. Goodbye, Yowies. Here to stunlock some Goron Detonators and speed this kill up. Okay. Nice. Bronze Badge. I don't know if I want that. <laughs> I must be getting really close to capping it. I feel like I'm at like 80 plus already. Bronze badges. Because I had to trade up my silvers already. I overcapped. Speaking of which. What music is playing? Uh, this one is currently Twin Machetes. The previous one was Defiant Charm from Like a Dragon. Glad you're liking the music. 
figured I'd introduce more soundtracks. I, I love video game soundtracks. It's like, I will listen to that all day over anything on radio or anything else. A little too close to Greta Boo. It's kind of scary. Let's try to stunlock some of these. Maybe I could get a straight hit on some of these. There we go. Down, Gordon Denator down. Apply some buffs. I'll let uh, Murphy go in first to enjoy that confused trap glory. It is very satisfying running down the hallway, <laughs> just laughing as they hit each other. And then you're in a perfect position to priest trap. It's so disgusting. It works so well. My bad. They kind of chased you towards the trap, or chased towards this trap, sadly. Do a nice little stun lock, though. Ooh, bronze badge. <laughs> I really wonder if I'm at like 90 plus or not. <laughs> Downside of Pew Pew Laser, sometimes it just de designates trap shall die. I'm vaguely looking at it, it will die. Universe found Seal J Sword, nice. There we go, quick explosion there. Heal up. Perfect. Yeah, I just, I don't know. I think they're just so spread apart, I don't know what, like, the best way to deal with this room is. Other than... I don't know, I don't even think traps are that great, unless you have, like, multiples. Because there's, like, enough rappies that it's hard to prep a trap early. It's just kind of an awkward wave. Whereas I feel like everything else, like, this is so tightly clustered. That, like, each- you could see, like, in groups of three, like, if one person put a freeze trap on one side of the room and one on the other, you could shut it down. But that other wave is just kind of, like, a mess. So many spam bots. Use chat. Rip spam bot. Where is the yaoi? There it is. I will shoot your fire traps. Boom. Poor lone Gurdabulu. You stand no chance. Take your head, chat. It's about to get murdered. Goodbye. Hmm. I will put on a safety heavenly. So hopefully we don't desync the boss like we did last time. It's it's not like a player's fault. It's more like I hope they fix this in the future as the whole. Like I don't think we should be content that the boss just quote unquote works like this, where you could just randomly not be targetable. Or excuse me, the boss is not randomly targetable. I mean, also I should probably pick up the bronze bed. Please don't be contrary you. I beg of you. Please don't be contrary you. Please don't be contrary you. I swear. I swear, chat. Why? Where is this when I'm playing Rare Boss? No! And I got uncut scene. This is BS. Well, I can only offer assistance. I apologize. This is like actually infuriating. How. I, all I want is Galatine, we keep getting Conjuru. For those that are wondering, Conjuru does not drop the item I'm looking for. I feel like I'm getting hard trolled. Do I need to just play Yellow ID into this? Is this what I'm learning? If I play Yellow ID, I get to play the game again? I think once chat shoots one of the spinners, I can see it. But I think until that happens, I can't do anything. 
On the plus side, we could just go around healing Murphy repeatedly to the boss dies. We got you, Murphy. <laughs> Team heal squad away. I think he got hit by the boss there. We believe in you, Murphy. Poor Murphy. Nice. Still can't target anything, which is really brutal. Yeah, I feel like can I'm like, hey, hey guys, can you fix this so this isn't a thing? You can screenshot this if you want, chat. But I'm like, this happens like way too often. Like, there's no way people don't know about this. Like, this is so obnoxious when this happens. It it's like there's something wrong maybe with the rare boss trigger or maybe wrong with this quest where like. If you go slightly too far right, which is what you do in the normal boss setup, so that way you can hit the spinner. Um, it just doesn't trigger the boss cutscene for some reason, and you're not pulled in it. And you saw how close I was to the rock. I was like two steps from it. So it's not a question of like, I'm, I'm like way too far away kind of deal. Oh boy. Poor Murphy. I feel bad. I we I can't do none of us can do anything. The boss just refused to load for us. I mean I could try to Gafoe and see if that does anything on Murphy's screen. I kinda doubt it. Oh he he like super teleported. What the heck? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Murphy's in trouble. We can't reach him. He's in the no man's land. Out of range, no. Too far. Oh wait, I could go around this way. Yeah, you're probably just gonna have to Heaven Strike her. I, I don't I don't see any other way. There we go. I mean, I'm just gonna spam Resta over and over. If Murphy wants to go crazy, just by all means, just keep shooting. Oh, he's teleporting on my screen. What the heck? Let's say you know the game is acting weird. Oh, there we go. Boss is targetable. Briefly, maybe? There we go. Murphy did it. Poor Murphy, soloing a multiplayer boss, trying to hit the spinners. Oh, this boss is trolling on so many levels. Oh! Dare I go for a revenge run? You watch, Chad. I go to switch into yellow ID, it'll be like, here's normal boss. Hi, right, I'm going in. Wish me luck, Chad. I was gonna say, Kaiser can also help. I think Kaiser has enough help to survive. I don't think we all need to be in the other room. I will dominate this. A lot of damage. I will try make that. Yeah, this will go faster than the Rebarda usage because laser broken. I'm definitely gonna heal spam to not die to this. Okay, so this is the one that does less damage. Okay, that's good. I missed one laser, but that shouldn't matter in the grand scheme. Ooh, did I get invincibility? Oh, no, I got healing. That's right. How's the grind going? It's going okay. We got trolled a little bit by rare boss on the only ID where we didn't get anything interesting for rare boss. That's fine. You know what? If he stands up again... I'm probably going to dolphin his brains out. Yeah, I'm gonna dolphin his brains out. Screw this boss fight. Oh, he's rolling back again. The only time I can't do it. What a troll. Got him, though. I use that to dodge laser. Checkmate. Doesn't matter what you do now. Perish. Stupid boss. Get out of here. <laughs> right, chat? Hey, hey, hey. Don't get mad because I dolphined you during an attack. Don't you laser beam me, you cheater. 
not supposed to do that. Man, this boss is glitching so hard, chat. <laughs> boss is straight trolling us right now. You're not supposed to attack us when we popped your cores, cheater. Nice. And you killed him with dolphin. Disrespect. More dolphin. Needs more dolphin. Stupid boss. At least give me a Centurion ability if you're going to waste my time. Nope. Shake your head, chat. So sad. Oof, everybody getting the Centurion, that's brutal. Shake your head, chat. What are- I wonder what the odds are of getting two rare bosses in a row. I'm kind of curious <laughs> with the current rare enemy. Oh, well. Um... I want to do one more. <laughs> you know what? Let, let me take a quick look at the drop chart. Give me a second. You know what? You know what, chat? I, I'm gonna double I'm gonna double dog dare the game. I dare you. I dare you to give me another rare boss. And if you don't, it doesn't matter. We're we're gonna go for the checkmate here. Where I don't care what the boss does anymore. It won't be the prettiest final phase. But I, I'm, we're gonna do that one more time on Yellow ID. I'm mad. <laughs> I'm very mad, chat. <laughs> Just like, I'm tired of not getting my Galatine chance. If you want to give me Rare Boss again, I will take a Daylight Scar. I will go make the game. I will get my Revenge. I'm just, I'm like, tired of it wasting my time. I'm just like, come on, boss. So, in theory, Dorfana Clara can still spawn. I would like a Gira Soul. Swordsman Lore wouldn't be the worst pickup from Gerdubulu. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna use my Cannon Rouge on it, chat. And teach this boss what up. I swear, if it desyncs me out of the boss fight again... In fact, I'm gonna make sure I go dead center this time. To ensure I don't desync out of the boss fight, so Murphy's not left with a big struggle. But yeah, I'm bringing damage. What do you think, Chad? Do you think I'm gonna get a rare boss a third time in a row? Just so just so Chad knows, I, I'm looking for Galatine. The normal boss drops Galatine. Yellow boss and green ID both drop Galatine on normal boss. But at least this time, if it trolls, it doesn't matter. <laughs> I I will take a daylight scar. I'm not opposed to it. I've, I've warmed up to it a little bit. I've seen where it could be useful. And now that I sometimes do tower, it's not considered just a waste of my time. So in theory, we still might see Cannon Rouge, which is one of the hunts I'm looking for. We haven't seen a rare Dwarfon at all today. And if I don't see it here, I give up. <laughs> we, we play something else after this. So I'm going to help Murphy a little bit with some of the freeze traps. So that way he's not on solo trap duty. Boom. Don't mind me. Uh, 
Yeah, this is fun. That way I keep using charge arm. If I shoot the wall, does this hit him? It does. <laughs> kind of funny. Thank you for the heal, appreciate it. Ouch. Jokes on you, I'm just gonna heaven striker you out of existence. <laughs> I'm like, listen, ch chat's willing to heal me, I'm willing to do 1,100 plus a shot. And you get the plant badge. Uh, you hope to the RNG gods that the random badge drops are what you need. So it's just a very rare chance of occurring. But as long as you're playing ultimate, in theory, it drops. In theory. So technically, all of your hunts can turn into SJ runs without needing to ever deal with, deal with those kinds of hunts. I'm um, slightly too weak to combo kill. So sad. Yeah, I really just need a melee weapon, but I'm gonna believe in the team when it comes to the satellite lizards. I'm not gonna worry too much about them. It's like, he should be targetable, but he's not. See what I mean? Annoying. Uh, I'm gonna put down a fire trap. If the Dwarfon wants to mess with me, that's fine. Good enough with the breeze trap. Anyway, back to fire trap spamming. Oh, the other one's not paralyzed. Uh, he's at a bad angle for me. I can't hit him. Rip. He's like in the wall over here for me. You want to spread the rumor it only happens outside of MAE Forest when it comes to the flat badge? Funny. I'll wait for buffs in the other area. I'm not in a rush. I'm gonna be confused trapping anyway. You know I'm taking it seriously when I'm just sack, sack attacking every single attack. Just like, listen, I've had enough of your tomfoolery. Runs over. And make the ent enemies enter the no fun zone. Perish. Yeah, I was gonna say, I've taken it personal now, chat. I'm tired of getting this rare boss when I don't want it. <laughs> it's like, any of the other hunts I do, I just, I literally just don't see any reward. A game, please. Where are the Pazuzus? Where are the Dorfon Eclairs? Oh, I got hit by the Dorfon. It's not Dorfon Eclair. It's fine. Nice. 
I gotta heal, or I'm gonna die again. Oop. Dodged it. Oh, let's see. Ooh, just out of range of sacrifice. Unlucky. Mondorf on a clear. I'll need buffs eventually, but it's fine. This is what Confused Trap is for. Thank you, Confused Trap. Don't cast shift on me. That'd be impressive if you did. Three hours and you'll be free. We'll probably be starting up by the time you're free. We'll be taking a break in like an hour and a half or so. And we'll be right back into it. I would like to go get food. This is you clip me. Just hoping that wouldn't be the case. That's what we call unlucky to get targeted like that. It's like, listen, I will kill you with a gun. I don't need a melee weapon. It, it helps to have it, but... Nice, nice. Yeah, I just want to make sure, like, somewhere around the 5-ish hour mark, I take a food break. Gonna be spamming my fire traps here. Maybe ask Tark's next. After this wave, but I mean. Damn, still no buffs. There we go. Ooh. Get rid of these enemies real quick. I mean, I'll kill them where they stand. Oh, nobody could foe aid. Brutal. I don't have Twin Blaze on this character, also would do it. That's on the hunt list for a reason. So no door find that clears again, but that's that's pretty standard to be honest. I very rarely see that in me. It had me questioning if it was really one in five hundred for a long time. I'm like, hmm. Take that try mate though. Hmm. We want to handle this next wave. Probably I could infuse trap into damage. I'm gonna stun lock with normal attacks here. Hope the team helps me out. There we go. Thank you, Spread Needle. You're so dumb. Never change, Spread Needle. <laughs> right, chat? Like, was I in a bad position or was he just getting stun locked? It all just depends. Do you have Spread Needle? Everything's fine. I guess I should freeze trap this wave. It's gonna be Marissa's next, which is awful. Fine. 
to back up slightly, lower some of them closer. More freeze trap down. I should handle most of them. Get closer to the rapies again. Let's put down a confused trap. Handle most of them. Deal with the zoos. Rafi's mostly dealt with themselves. Put down another confused trap. I still got seven left. Should be fine. Four enemies. Damage though. my HP. It went to a good cause. <laughs> that dummy. Uh, so I'm probably going to handle the far side of the room, I think. And I'll let Murphy handle the close side. So that way he doesn't have to split his traps as much. I definitely can't be first in the room, so I don't have a Dufoe or a Rivarda. Guys, you gotta... Okay. If you step on the doorway, you have to go through. There we go. Right, so I'm gonna go in position for my side. Right, chat? Like, what is the Grand Detonator gonna do? Nothing. Just perish. I'm gonna keep a couple freeze traps for later. That that's what aggressive freeze trapping is, chat. Listen. You just want the, the room dead, no questions. Got him. Probably charge bulk in the bird. I have to think about like what I should be doing. <laughs> Just like I'm looking at my traps, thinking about what the best thing I could do is. I know I don't have melee weapons, but still help a little bit here. Pretty low on fire traps, but I could still afford a few. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and freeze drop this. He's done. They recognize their strength is killing zoos. We're gonna go ahead and bully them. Whew, so much damage. Move a little more to the sides. Hmm. I see some healing items. I guess I could pick up a couple. I've actually not used too, too many. Check up me alive in the other area for the most part. Right, so I have no buffs. I'm gonna be careful here. What I can do is do a couple pot shots over here. Leave a freeze trap here. Walk backwards. Forget the trap. I think, unfortunately, somebody stood where the trap was, so it went off early. If Chad is wondering why that trap went off early, if it detects another player, I think it will go off pretty quickly. That's fine. We we had the backup frozen shooter in hand. Oops. For me.
gonna need buffs. Can't combo kill without it. There we go. Uh, the confused trap down. Go ahead and freeze trap this. Give the room a chance. Basically, bully that entire wall of people. Let's bully this wall of people. Mm. Oh, it's just slightly too slow on the frozen shooter. I had the right idea. Also, I have a 97% chance of hitting, but not 100%. Kind of brutal. Uh, uh, please help me. Keep the Garter Bulu off of me. <laughs> I'm like, I do not want to deal with that if I don't have to. want to restock my healing real quick. Ah, I'm looking pretty good. Right, I'm about to burn my last freeze trap for Murphy. I'll leave Murphy to deal the rest of the room. I'm just gonna do that to lock him down. Silver badge, nice. Yeah, I got three confused traps left and that's all I got. I was pretty aggressive throughout the quest, so I was trying to make sure we locked down some of the bad waves. The song is very familiar, but I don't recognize the song name. It's definitely like a Kiryu theme kind of thing in his main game versus a spinoff. Well, the Ogre has returned. My Marissa's. Yeah, I think I'm gonna confuse Trap this too. I'm like... Nice gold badge. There we go. Stunned it. Oops. My trap was. My Heaven Striker was like, ooh, shiny trap. Thanks, auto aim. Ah. Pretty much my last set of traps. I'm just gonna burn them out. I only got two left. Might as well use them. Goodbye, my traps. We officially burned out on the last wave we can use them on. Good enough. Damn, I wish I had like a Zalore gun on this character sometimes. It's, it's like such a greedy purchase. Like, ugh. Sometimes. Other times I'm just like, damn, I needed demons. Pick this up. Uh, actually doing extremely well in terms of healing. I think there's only one thing I gotta pick up over here. I think I'm good. If I get if I get photon dropped by Saint Million, I, I will get very mad. I'm not gonna lie. I'm so tired of this boss giving me BS. I swear, if this is Conjuring again, 
I'm gonna be like, someone, someone take a photo of the stupidity that's happening here. What is happening? <laughs> what, what is happening? Stop it. <laughs> I mean, like, I'll take Daylight Scar, but I just want Galatine. <laughs> Stupid ass boss. Where is the, where is the normal boss? Tired of this. Listen. Listen, I'm gonna hit this red thing and it's done. Yeah, don't worry about it. I have damage now. I'm mad. <laughs> Activate form of Cannon Rouge. Stupid ass boss. Take this. Yeah, there we go. I need somebody healing me, otherwise I'll bully this boss. I'm gonna dolphin it at some point. So just keep an ear out and donate if you can. So it'll even out that I'm gonna hit it unevenly. By just doing like 4k to fix things. The only thing I have to do is dodge the tornado. That will get that will guarantee kill me. Normal boss turtles on vacation, so I just thought to do the same. This is the most rare boss I have ever seen. I'm pretty sure this is a record on stream. Three back to back. Chat witnessed. Actual shenanigans happening. Look at that damage I'm doing. I'm doing 500 plus. I can do normal shots though. Yeah, there we go. Oh, you're right. Never mind. It is four. It's pretty BS. Oh. Okay. If you use a lore this boss, this will go very quickly. It is a lore though. There we go. It's like a 20% damage increase. It's almost within dolphin range. So guaranteed whoever's with me gets dolphin. So just use anything other than dolphin when you see me mag blast. Okay, put it almost in kill range. Next time it reels back. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna go for it. Using. Slightly too early, I think. Worst thing that happens is I just finished this boss off normally. It might have been slightly too early. We'll see. Honestly, laser might actually hit it here, unironically. Close. It was like a little too early. It should be fine though. Yeah, get out of here. Alright, it has four on its final form, whatever. That that's all you know what? That is really close for a cast. Can we say how close that was, Chad? I was off by four damage. I think we can all say I got robbed. <laughs> like like that was the actual weapon RNG, whether that would hit or not. Actual shenanigans. Unfortunately, it's invincible right now. Yeah, it's not on its final form. It's not gonna hurt it. I got robbed by literally four damage. I'm rolling my eyes, Chan. I'm gonna wait for the boss to do the laser attack. Regen some HP by standing still in the meantime. Whatever. All right, now we just finish off the boss. Yeah, that was fine. I'll, I'll take that for sure. Conjure you. And of course he glitched people out of the, the initial fight, because of course he did. We're worshipping Celeste. Basic everybody's actually cheering Celeste in that image. That's pretty funny actually. Just like, yes. We look to the heavens for an answer. Well, I got a daylight scar. It rolled all zeros though. Though kind of miserably terrible. Shaking my head. Do people even want an all zero daylight scar? Unfortunate. So don't worry, Chad. You're you're missing out on basically nothing. And you know, I guess I'll go identify it in theory. I guess I have a weapon to use against the lizards now. Wow, we got 407,000 experience from that. You know what, chat? I, <laughs> I'm i actually curious. Will, will we get it a fifth time in a row? <laughs> we just don't get the right boss. I, I kind of just want to see now. I Like, I was going to move on, but now I'm just too curious. Actually insane. 
Also, that was a lot of badges I picked up. Uh, yeah, I'll leave it as is. <laughs> like, I don't mind another Daylight Scar chance. It just literally all zero is definitely very salty. Like, what is this? You give me native. I'm gonna take a native. It doesn't have to be dark percentage. I'm gonna roll my eyes for sure, though. <laughs> I'll get a daylight, daylight scar with 30 hit plus before I get a normal boss, apparently. Like, do I need to rename this video to why can't I get the normal boss to appear? <laughs> Have you seen the normal boss? So yeah, Cannon Rouge was a pretty good backup there. Does Cannon Rouge not have a damage range, actually? Other than crits? Because that felt pretty consistent. It does have a damage range, but it seemed consistent. Maybe it just applies to every shot? Because I felt like I hit four parts for 303. Because the, 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 the effective range is 100, which is kind of big. More bosses on the bill carton, I think so. And you know, I'll go for another level up. So the fact that I was only off by 4 damage was kind of crazy. <laughs> so yeah. <laughs> he called Saint Millie because that's the reward for finding him. I'm like, have you seen Saint Millie and chat? I can't seem to find him. If found, please call the Pixter stream. Let me know if he exists. I'm gonna go bully some Sand Rabbies in the meantime with the new Daylight Scar. I mean, at least a combo kills. I could say that, like, technically I got an upgrade. Technically. Like, it works. I, I don't have an Excal on this character. So we'll, we'll take what we can get here, for sure. Photon drop, sure. Trade your ex cal for cookies, oh no. See that? Now I could participate. Oh, and he doesn't quite combo kill. Damn, Tad, if only it had that native percentage, it actually would have mattered. So sad. <laughs> Daylight Scar, but imagine if actually useful percentages. So 20 native, I think, would have done it, for sure. Because you have to think of it this way. I'm missing by, like, less than 100 across 5 hits. And the weapon itself is 500 plus ATP. How's the grind been? I'm getting trolled. I'm getting massively trolled. And there's nothing I can seemingly do about it. At least I'll bully him to death with the damage scar we picked up. Definitely pain. It's so sad. Alright, so if I time my dolphin a little later... Oh, you know what it is? I have to start on the left side. That's what I did last time. <laughs> farming Satori to Billy so he's farming Conjury for air. I mean, it's true. It's, it's very true. Yeah, I'm definitely uh, getting some of the more <laughs> pretty unlucky on, like, it's one of those times where, like, in any other scenario, fighting, like, four or something countries in a row would be considered good luck. But I'm not doing that hunt. It's the only hunt I don't care about. And here we are getting trolled. So we switched over to yellow ID because I gave up. I wanted to get Galatine, but I don't think it's happening today. <laughs> I need to be careful here because I can't really deal with the follow-up attacks. I need somebody to potentially Gafoe 
how soon as these die. Gonna back up. Okay. Let's go delete a door farm. <laughs> I'm just I'm just gonna hit the delete button. Goodbye, Dorfon. You're not Dorfon, Claire. I care about you. So yeah, Daylight Scar. How much does it add without Shifta? But that's about 600 with Shifta. It could be interesting. This just got like a little tiny bit of native percentage. I don't even need the sacrifice special. Like, we're strong enough that it doesn't matter. Rip the buffs. Do something like this. Just want to make sure the zoo doesn't laser me, because that's the thing most likely to kill me when I'm berserking. My priorities are very different once I have uh, other things. Berk. See that if I had even just a little bit of hit too, I could get the guaranteed sacrifice on them. Not that I needed, as I said before, but just like little thresholds that would have been nice. Let's shut that enemy down. Dramatic music plays as I go on the Babuda Massacre. Stop hitting me with Fireball, please. Thank you. <laughs> Don't mind me. He's just going to straight bully the Astarch now with the new weapon. I guess I should probably grinder it at some point. Oh, the gun swap animation made me too slow. So sad. Three and a half drop from it, whatever. About to take some damage, I think. Yep. He needs to uh, go Bowie down for future reference. Dorfon, still no Dorfon to clear. Fortunate. I'm gonna go ahead and delete the Dorfon now. Fine. Ooh, I used to try me instead of Dime Mates earlier. That was a mistake. Oh well. Ooh, the berserk damage. Oh. That did 3,000 at the end, chat. That's kind of intense damage. Uh, this should be fun. <laughs> I changed my mind what weapon I was gonna use. I was like, yes, no, yes, no. It's probably the most aggressive I've ever been with him in melee in quite some time. I mean, it is working, so as well as keep doing it.
Okay, so we're all gonna gather up. As long as we have a Gafoe, once these die, we should be safe. There we go. I'm about to take some big damage here, sadly. That's fine. You know what they've given me? Not only did they give me invincibility, now I can just berserk whenever I want. Where are they on? Perish. Oh, is that the end of the soundtrack? Or is it just pause? Oh, paused. Finders. Silver badge and the material. I don't know where he was aiming. Also, ripped my buffs. in the middle for buffs. There we go. There we go. Daylight Scar, but slightly stronger now. Not that I can't combo kill with its sacrificing anyway, but it's nice to put it a little stronger regardless. It builds more PB. I went to go melee the one near me, never mind. Cat too quick. Oh. I hesitated. Should have just shot. stand in this corner and purge everything. Only 39,000 from leveling. I wonder if I'll actually get my traps back. I think I will. You get so much experience per kill, yeah. Yeah, I think I could combo kill with the normal heavy special. But it's a bit risky. Bonk, bonk. Poor Marissa is about to get bullied. Hey, I could just cannon rouge you. <laughs> just like. Wait a minute, I have other options to deal with this nonsense. I don't have to worry about this. Heaven Striker is decent and all, but if you could triple hit with the Cannon Rouge, this is gonna way out damage it. Yeah, I definitely don't want to go in first. Guess that works. And the paralysis. Oh. Now that is what we like to call a lockdown chat. Goodbye. <laughs> get out of here. You're not getting another turn. I'm slightly out of position here, which is unfortunate. I'm gonna put another freeze trap there to make up for that. I should have been two more steps forward, so I would have been behind the line instead of in front of the line. Oh well. Yeah, 
So I'm gonna level. I need one experience to level. Wow. I got my traps back. Which kind of matters. That improves dolphin damage. Do you know I'm gonna dolphin this boss? It's going to happen. So many bots. Jeez, Twitch. Get out of here. By satellite lizard. Uh, we're just gonna do a nice little. Oh, they got spooked. Rip. Uh, I would like to finish this zoo if I can. Nice. Good. Just kind of rouge on this. I think that's the right call. Even without Zolora, this does insane damage. Boom. <laughs> I think that's the right call for this character. Got good damage. enemy to die soon. Please kill it. Unfortunately, one of them teleported. That messed me up. Really unfortunate. I think it's frozen shooter time. There we go. I knew I couldn't resist the urge to fire a wall me. Oh, there's a Pazuzu. Be fun. I think that's the first one of the stream. Oh, come on. <laughs> Almost like Minroll Girasol. What is going on, chat? This is so unfortunate. This could have been like a big payday. Whatever. Whatever, chat. Let's just use it. Yeah, I guess this will just be more uh, hunter fodder for later. Could be worse I didn't get one. I'd almost rather not have one, to be honest. Get rid of. Need something to pick that up later. We'll figure it out. There's a luck material, but I have no space. I might have to give up escape doll. That's the only logical drop that I have. See when I'm striking it because it just takes like 2k. That is definitely a faster clear. So I just need to find the luck material. There it is. in range. Fortunate. Thank you for the rebuff. Alright, since they're so evenly damaged, I'm going to throw out a couple of fireball traps. Clean them up a little.
Here, um... That's not what I meant to do. Good. Fixed it, though. We'll use another three strap too, just to make up for it. Good air, Marissa, huh? damage. Okay. Daylight Scar is definitely better in that scenario. Let's get him. Let's go batch. So when it's paralyzed, I have 100% chance of a heavy attack, which is nice. Here we go. What do you think, Chad? Will this be on you again? The revenge. The healing is kind of bad at the moment. I might actually have to go back for that dime. I have stars. Okay, I have six stars. Never mind, we're good. No more pew pew after this run. Yeah, we did run all the way through even beat, surprisingly. Uh, so I have what I need to bully the stupid spinner. Moment of truth. <laughs> Is it conjure you again? Or am I going to get a legitimate chance at Galatine? There we go. Jeez. I'd like to say at least one time today for a Galatine. I'll even take it all zeroed one at this point. I have, like, none of them. Yeah, I think because you're too far back, you have to stay pretty close with the rest of the group. Because you, you are legit, like, way too far away. There's no way it was going to trigger. The ones that upset me were when I'm, like, actually at the crystal and it doesn't trigger. There we go. Oh, I took some big damage there from something. What hit me? Did you hit me during the cutscene? Oh, it must have hit me just before. Yeah, I'm gonna need healing for sure. Thank you. Alright, so I'm gonna try to time the dolphin. I'm gonna do it early, maybe? Just to speed this up. Thinking about it. Oh no, it's kind of risky to do it with raw cast. I guess the first time... Yeah, let, let's, let, let's let him go through a cycle one time. Then I'm gonna go for it. I'm too worried about dying to, like, double tornado. Like, if he tornadoes while I'm doing it, I'll just die as soon as it ends. Wow, that is... really unfortunate enemy placement. I, I need to be healed. And you'll heal. Missed everything. So it seems pretty consistent, damage-wise. So it looks like the, the, the damage roll is per shot, not per target. So there seems to be no variation in the damage, which is actually very interesting. So I guess in a way... Rangers might be able to speed this up pretty significantly even without Heaven Striker. The problem is, I think, Kaiser's a little too far to the side, but if you look at the damage numbers, they're too close to each other for it to be anything else. Right, I'm gonna see if he reels back. If he doesn't, okay, I was gonna say, if he doesn't, I'm going for the kill. Oh, I got killed. Help me. Thank you. Using. There we go. This should do a lot of damage. I did die a few times, but this should save a lot of time. Revenge will be mine. out of here. It's all down to chat now. 
666 HP left, nice. GG. Those little wiggle legs. That is so much XP for this team. I'm assuming somebody's gonna level from this, almost guaranteed. <laughs> Promethean in the pew pew laser. Damn, I think that's no Galatine. Yeah, no Galatine. Unfortunate. Take the money though. I will gladly take the money over like the escape doll BS it was giving me earlier. So no super weapons here, sadly. This area is also potentially really good for uh, weapon drops. Thank you, Murphy, for subscribing. Whew. So today we learned, even though the Cannon Rouge has variable range, it is consistent on every single target. So that's good. That's kind of a neat little backup. Because not every weapon will behave like that. Like, we've seen uh, Slicer behave weirdly, for example. That's fun. What to do now? I guess we can wrap up with a couple of quests. I guess they did say we would do some Fantasmal World too. See you, see you later, Kaiser. I guess we could do like one or two of those. I'll probably switch who I'm playing. A lot of badges. Uh, might have been Murphy that gave it to you. Let's do like one or two Phantasmal World 2s and then we'll end with like a ETF or RT. So I found 31 HP materials this week. 3 luck materials this week, 26 defense, 11 line, 20 power, grinders or whatever. How many badges am I up to? 84 bronze? I was thinking it was at 81. I think I, earlier I thought I was 81. Uh, I wasn't that far off, honestly. Not bad. So I'll switch in as the pink ID force. Break time? Mm, no. I said around five hours. It's only been four. Let's go ahead and do... I'll switch into Pink ID. How do, I... do I have a Pink ID Ranger? I don't think I do. Eventually I should level one. I think I made a... I have a Pink ID Faux Marl, who's okay at it. I was debating a Pink ID Faux Newman. Could make a Pink ID Rockaseal at some point. I think that was on the list of things I wanted to make. Just so that I have a character that's like super specialized at like uh house clock challenge or whatever. No worries. Thank you, Murphy, for clarifying the 10% for highest rolls. So yeah, let's uh we got an open slot. Oh, the level 200 is out. The serious business time. Let's see if we can find a lane for the team. I'm gonna go ahead and host PW2 so I can provide buffs. I have backup hell. I do okay damage. I can slice her thing. So whatever the team needs, I'll just do. Oh, your Ranger's pink ID. Thing. Um. Maybe then? Because I'll, I'll just leave since you should be the host. Who do I want to level, is the question. I guess I can level my ranger. I thought about it. Okay, I'll rejoin Promethean's game, since it should be pink ID still. That should work. 
the way I can do frozen shooters. Get this character just a little more leveled. Yeah, I have I have the Ranger Wall character. Default Ramar. Ish. But hit randomize on him once or something. Okay, so let's rejoin. So does anybody want to hop in for some lame hunt? Put this away. That is a lot of <laughs> held items in my inventory. I think this character needs another slicer fanatic. We've given a few away, but I think now this character is more or less ready for it. Somewhat both, I guess, for Prometheans question. So we have something slightly better than an all zero gear soul, I guess. Could be better. Hmm. We have a 35% AP Daylight Scar, which is okay. bring this so I could just do the pew pew shots that should be fun okay Okay, so we'll give Murphy a moment, but if anybody would like to hop in for the four slot, you're more than welcome. So we'll do two of those into maybe a TTF or something. Oh, that's really unfortunate, Chad. I did get jury duty tomorrow. Damn. Yeah, that sucks. So definitely no early streams tomorrow. I was gonna say final call if anybody wants to hop in. You can tell them I'm an anarchist. I don't think that would go over well. Yeah, that's so unfortunate. Okay, well, guess I can make do with what I got. Maybe I'll do some basic trading for a couple of slicers. Could be all zeroed. Just to fill up this one ranger, because I think almost every character I have has one except for this one. Marco says you'll join the next run. Okay. I think you could get... Do you have any way to remove your ETO from the day? Uh, yes, I would have to get it corrected. So I'll have to see how it goes in. Okay, I think we could get started. Hope you get a call in the morning that says no. No, no, I got a call that I have to go in at 9.30. I got the opposite of that. We could get started, Promethean. Uh, Phantasmal World 2. Do a little warm up of that. And uh, maybe we'll do an anniversary quest? We had very greedy runs today. The, what was the, the quintuple conjure was something? Certainly something.
I mean, you had four bosses in a row. Yeah, I did, but but <laughs> but yet yeah, nothing dropped. We call that cruelty. You shake your head when that happens. Oops. I'm gonna believe in the hell needles next to me. I just realized I didn't bring a spread needle with this character. Oops, that was a mistake. Oh well. Sadly, we didn't pick up another one yesterday. Adam's umbrella. I guess I'll hold on to it. But I think from the standpoint of drops for the most part. I'm mostly just trying to look to get rid of my all zeroed stuff. So we have a lot of that. We have some pretty good stuff, like the 60 hit vice. It's like we have some foundation of abilities. I was gonna say, I don't think we popped the boxes back here. Okay. Big box check. I guess I could have just Kapoe through the wall or resonded, but I just physically wanted to see, I guess, if it would open. Hopefully everybody's doing well today. There we go. Escape doll. an attack from him. It's like, just not quite enough room. I mean, I guess I'll just freeze him to overthink this. What the? Where's your charge, Vulcan? Oh, it's like, I went to go shoot him, and I'm like, wait a minute, that's not where it normally is. Yeah, I have to see what happened to my other items. I'm assuming they're just in my uh, normal bank, because I have like six of them. It's not a question of like if I have that item, just like not of my character. Oh well. I guess that's the downside of the event. Sometimes I put a lot of items away if I'm not using them in specific hunts, just due to the fact that we pick up so many badges and materials. That's like, I kind of want them. The Madam's Umbrella. Out. When I go back, we should be able to fight the Gibbles. Anything fun back here? No. Oh well. Well, we know the Gibbles is waiting for us, so we'll just go back and fight the Gibbles, I guess. But we'll keep Gibbles locked down for the team. I'll have to check. I could probably just bring in like a demon's handgun or something next time. That check. There we go. Silly traps. Get out of here. I can't insta-kill. And freeze. Damn, 
Yeah, we'll level this character up a little more, I think. Let's see where we go from there. Fortunately, we're using so much hell that I'm, I'm not feeling as pressured with the, the ship does. Use it like a little bit. Mostly on the stupid red gibbons. Speaking of which... Hmm. Yeah, I think we got a lot of good episode 4 runs in. Like, we, we cleaned up the runs, we had, like, good, you know, Goron Detonator locked down. We had the spawn order kind of in our head, start to finish. We got trolled repeatedly by the episode 4 boss, refusing to allow people to fight it, and it not doing the multiplayer cutscene thing. But that's pretty common, unfortunately. Just unfortunate it happened four times in a row and four Kadryus, but you know, I guess it is what it is to some extent there. I already froze it, nice. Is it done? And I always think it's over, but then there's like something right here. Yeah, I was gonna say, last time I remember going down the stairs because I was thinking the run was over. I'll check to see if there's any other um, anniversary events that are needing points. Because we pushed it through, what was it, three streams ago to get to the 15% experience. Because we saw August Atrocity wasn't run as much. I don't mind running that event. It's just that when I'm trying to level newer characters like this one, it'd be a little rough Good. going for tower. God, you might carry you. Uh, I will. So long, old friend. We're going to skip forward. Oh yeah, I'm gonna make sure I touch the switch. I've learned the hard way. Do not go through without the switch touch. Oh yeah, I'm just gonna stunlock the Gibbons. There's a buy cookies 5 PDs room for anyone to get rid of cookies. Oh no. It's okay, Promethean. <laughs> we we understand. You just want to abandon the run to go get it. Yeah. You want to just abandon the run. It's fine. We don't have to complete it. We could say we were here. Promethean wants them badly. <laughs> I wouldn't even be offended. I would be like, go ahead. We're buying for five, presumably. I wonder what they're doing with them. <laughs> it's like Promethean intercepts in the tree. The bid war begins. Also, I love that he's broken. You okay there, Gibbles? No? Okay. You all witnessed, Chad. We were having a stare down. I, I just, just wanted to give him the evil eye. Let him know that, you know, I meant business. He was petrified, apparently. He's like, I'm scared of the raw moral who didn't bring demons here. What kind of monster would do that in episode two? And I'm like, you're right. Hmm. Yeah, we'll do a quick look at the points, see if there's anything that's like vaguely close. I wouldn't mind doing a temple at some point. I know that one is usually one of the unloved ones. Okay, we're using my superior range to troll the enemy. Unfortunate. There we go. Okay, so let's go back to you. 
Never mind, let's not do that apparently. There we go. Goodbye, Gibbon. Hmm. As long as I bring demons, I don't mind bringing this character to tower. I'll definitely go back. I have, I should have like a demon laser I can bring, or a bringer's rifle. I think we do need it a little bit. I can offer that support role. I'm just thinking more from the standpoint of... Blind ID hunts are kind of fine. I won't survive an Epsilon. The only downside. It's like, what, 1300? My fire resist is 20%. Pretty sure the math says I die. <laughs> he has a pretty good reach. I appreciate that. I think the bonuses so far have been pretty solid. We did uh we did one of every quest at the beginning of the event, so we helped the boost there. We did a ton of desert, even though desert doesn't really have a big bonus that needs to get raised. Did a little bit of forest, did CCA. I guess I wouldn't mind CCA in the future. I'm just not I feel a little Hunu world out. But I, I do want to try her now that she is red ring. See how I feel about it. There we go. Just believe in the demons. Ooh, that is crazy unlucky. Let's kill this one with damage, though. It's like special, 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 special. Nothing. Damn. How much I could do about that? Especially when they're paralyzed. Meanwhile, hmm. just thinking ahead a little bit. So this character would ideally want to hit 180. She's at the point where she can probably do TTF without exploding the falls. I have at least a free slot for Heavenly HP if I need it. So I won't get hit by the balls and killed. I'm more worried about getting hit by the freeze and killed than anything else. Damage is okay. Not like anything too crazy. But ideally she'd be able to shift to 20 D-Band 20, Zalor 20, to keep the run competitive when we have a lot of Hugh casts and Raw casts. Reapply. I'll go deal with these. <laughs> Promethean's hunting for cookies. Guess we'll figure out what everybody's still looking for. I think Burfi still wants another red ring. We could nerf recently, and I feel kind of eh, about it. Like, I do think some of the changes were needed, but... <laughs> Just like... I'm like, okay, we're, we're not going to touch white ID. That's fine, I guess. I still think it has probably the best hunt in the game with... Uh... Probably being Terrell's ego. We, we nerfed the Yellow Boss, lost Soul Blade out of existence. I think I got everything except for Ubers. 
Yeah, we tried some uber hunting earlier. It, we, we got some supplemental rares, or the, the complementary rares that tend to sprinkle throughout your runs. But, um, nothing too crazy. Yeah, mostly just ended up with an okay amount of badges from things like slime pooping. About it. Boxes. Yeah, there's still a lot of, like, basic items I'm looking for. Not even with hit, just, like, better than zero. I don't like how we got a Daylight Scar today, but it was just... terrible. <laughs> it's like... I will level it up because I just don't have a melee. I don't have enough, like, Excals for the characters. But at the same time, it's like, it's not a very satisfying item choice. Reapply buffs before it gets too bad. Yeah, like we're talking before about basics like Vivian and things like that. It would be nice if I uh, got them with any kind of decent roll. Okay, I know the switch should be in front of player one. I'm going to look for the switch near player one, so I don't have to do with the camera. But honestly, I'm half wondering if I should just go back to DTF. I don't... We could probably do anniversary stuff later, or endless, because we did a lot of endless the other day. And I think after I take a nice break, I could be mentally prepared for a nice long endless on yellow or something. Maybe we'll sprinkle in some interesting hunts. Definitely touching that camera switch. On V502, there we go. Not like the most optimal thing ever, but at least it's hell. Yeah, so far, like, the... Probably the best item we've gotten so far, aside from a red ring, has been, like, that LNK. Although I think this frozen shooter with hit... I think would make some tower runs pretty nice. So I think if we could get, like, a group together of some of the, like, endgame players... I could probably bring in a more serious character, potentially with this Frozen Shooter. Nice level up. Uh, LNK, 20 dark, 30 hit. So I can finally land my combos in single player and multiplayer with a few caps. We have a lot of zeroed ones, but without hit, I just can't land. I li like literally can't land the heavy attacks in any kind of consistent manner, even with red ring. So I think if I were to do... No, 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 I don't want to borrow. I want it to be, like, full-time equipment. <laughs> I just want to say, like, the character is, like, close to done. Like, we have Faux Newmans that are done. We have some... Decent-ish from ours? And if I give them back the 30-hit Excalibur, like, that's... that's fine. 
But I'm thinking at the end of the event, I'm going to finally sphere something on stream. Because I've had a lot of indecision due to just how many rares I have. I guess I can pour it into a Baran's launcher. See if I like it. It feels... I almost feel like I should probably test it in a sandbox first. Because I don't know if... I'm not a big fan of Baran's launcher. And it would potentially just be used on characters without traps, which is kind of the big appeal of it to an extent. But if I wanted to dedicate more time on my raw cast, I could see myself having fun with it. Or if I wanted to play raw seal with a little bit of oomph. can maybe insta-kill. There we go. Persistence rewarded. Got there eventually. There we go. See that I'm killing things. <laughs> I did it. I, I I participated. I earned that medal by spamming hell. There we go. That wasn't too bad. Yeah, I don't see the point in ATPing a lot of these things, sadly. Such as the life with episode 2. Okay, I wasn't sure if I hit the boxes. I did not. <laughs> Those boxes I always forget about. Hmm. What do I feel like doing before my food break? The ever eternal question. Talk to you for the coins. Uh, I guess we could just end with a couple TTF, I suppose. In the evening, we can resume some anniversary stuff. And I'll go get some dinner or something in between. Take a mental break. question is, who do I feel like playing into it? I guess I could bring my Sky ID character. As long as this character gets like a few levels here and there, I'm not like in a huge rush to level her. Yeah. I guess I'll just continue to bring in the Hue cast. I'm kind of excited for him to eventually hit uh, Red Ring levels. And who knows, maybe we'll get another one for no reason. So, my character is Sky ID, so if somebody wants to host instead, that's also fine. check on the anniversary event real quick. 7,000 points needed. Yeah, it's not that close. Maybe on Friday we might be able to bump it up a little. Looks like Temple is expected is behind as well as August Atrocity 1, which is also expected. I don't mind doing Blue ID Seabed, but I, not like literally before break. Maybe post break we'll do some of that. Yeah, I'm gonna bring in a Sky ID. I'm up banner asking, just got home, their room or pool. Uh, potentially rotate some people in. 
the, the cookie room is gone. Yeah, let's see. I was gonna say, I, I definitely would say it's up to the group call. From me thinking said I always gotta cry out his feelings. Yeah, let me know between minus X and remote battery. Both of you are welcome to hop in. I'll do a couple TTF to wrap things up. I would prefer that someone brings in some techniques. I I will take anything. I'll feel very, very sad if none of us bring in any techniques. I'd be like, hold on, Chad. Gonna go get my S Red Blade. I'm, I gotta beat the team buff. Wow, two characters exactly the same level. Nice to see when it's not 200. Okay, so let's see how we've been doing luck wise with the materials since the event has started this week. Well, as of this week. So we're in 39 defense, 31 HP. It's pretty high. In terms of badges, we're at 93 bronze. So maybe we'll do some gambles later. Yeah. I would say minus X, if you were looking to level your... I think you have a Hudo roll. Potentially you could bring that character in. Or if you have a raw moral. I'm fine with either. I don't need like a force level buffs. This character's silly. So we'll give minus a couple minutes to hop in. So yeah, after we come back from break, uh... We'll probably continue a mixture of Anniversary stuff, Endless, and probably TTFRT. But if there's people looking for something more specific, I think for the most part I've asked, and almost everybody so far has responded Red Ring. Like so far, you know, <laughs> Antares Convoy, Red Ring, Remote Battery, Red Ring, Kaiser, Red Ring, Piggy, Hengen Mila, Psycho Wand, SJS, Murphy, Red Ring. Definitely a, a huge need for it, I suppose. Red Ring and x -Cal, so I'll make a note. I think we've been doing an okay amount of x -Cal's. We did uh, Episode 2, Episode 4, Episode 1. But we tried. We haven't seen any so far. Prometheans said hunts don't happen until October. I'll say hunting V101 with Rockcast is painful. Um, probably solo. Multiplayer, it's fun. And you go pew pew. You can host the game and then all the damage joins you. Love the two I green ID Rockcast. Damn. I kind of like with the Hue cast that he just does so much damage, I don't even need Dark Blow. Like, I have it. I have used it. It's fun, but... Sometimes just charge Vulcan kills them anyway. <laughs> just like... I just kind of shrug my shoulders. Like, I definitely see where it's very useful and... Um, kind of like insta-killing Barans and stuff like that, so you're not locked in like a charge Vulcan animation. Gets healed, I guess the swap back to Vulcans, that's true. That does happen quite often. I got trolled the other day with us. Um, I, was that on stream? I don't know if it was on stream. I was playing with somebody that had the uh, backpack Heaven Striker unit, and it kept resting me every boss battle. And I'm like, well, I guess I'm just never gonna use my sword. <laughs> I just, I just couldn't do anything. I kept getting healed. Like, please stop healing me. At one point, I even tried equipping Gear Assault preemptively. It still didn't... it didn't help. Then I got double rested by two different backpacks. I'm like, do you really not have any other mechs? Please. But oh well. So at this point, we're just coasting on S Parts version 2.01 for 15 accuracy. We have Smart Link to make sure our shots don't fall off. Disco Brain Man when I feel like just not caring. Oh, the heal is AoE. It trolls super hard. I, I can't dodge it either, because we're in, like, the boss cutscene. I'm like, damn. <laughs> you got me. Yeah. 
So I, I mostly just not decided to use it here. I think with some people I'll bring it. Only Ball Ops room can dodge it, that's true. My favorite is in the Ball Op room when you think you've dodged it, but they get hit by the lightning of the turret and then it goes off anyway. <laughs> you get healed by them. Like, come on. It's not fair. We'll give Minus X another minute or so. But yeah, this character's nine levels away, so that's like, what, 30-ish runs? Action in progress. I was gonna say, is your internet okay? Guess I'll go restock while I'm waiting. Got nothing better to do. Sadly, we can't do the bronze badge gamble while we wait. Okay is a strong word. Is your internet alive? Nothing of interest from the shop. Ooh. <laughs> She's trying to body block me again. You all saw it, Chad. She went hard left. Yeah, I'll give you about another two minutes, but then I think we're going to have to move forward because otherwise we're not going to have enough time to do two TTFs. Guess I could bring in Red Handgun just in case. Well, that's not the Red Handgun. Oops. So just in case I need to stun lock, I should probably take this out. Yeah, that's his old Lin K. Oh. Oh, is it in my inventory already? It is, so kind of run. False alarm. I was like, where did I put it? It had some machine percentage, so it was okay. Oh, was it by? Sorry, I, th I, th I thought it said S, but it, it probably did say by. Okay, so you have two minutes minus X, where I'm going to move on. Okay, minus X is tagging in remote battery. Somebody has joined us. There's a force that has joined us. It should be very interesting. Confirming it is remote battery. <laughs> I was gonna say it's it's the the bodyguard squad is here. So we're going to be messing around with a lot of confused traps, because we learned we could just get free kills without really trying at all. Or really impacting the run very much at all. So just have to avoid the other casts, do a little bit of this, have some Zalor happen. Get some free kills there. Oh, team, you don't have to wait for me. You, you guys should go on. You, sh you should not wait for me when I'm messing around. There we go. I'm doing this because, like, presumably I don't need to be the primary DPS with two casts. And I could be. Just do something like that. They could shoot that. Then I just berserk. Whoa. Is he untargetable? That was weird. I didn't feel a lock on when I was moving around. Normally he slows down when you do so. It's weird. Unfortunate. gonna say mission accomplished I didn't die to the dragon hmm I guess I could try to go for the glitch Ooh, we got it see see how he's damaged yeah there we go <laughs> we've seen before with dark flow it's possible to kill the dragon before it's able to move so in that transition between when it's rising and it's about to do its little pouty shout, uh, it will temporarily take damage in the next phase without resetting it. But it's 
I don't know how tight that window is. I don't I don't want to say frame perfect, but it, it does feel not like the loosest thing ever. Like I think it's measured in frames and not in seconds, but I don't know if it's like 20 frames or 10 frames or two frames. Not really sure. Somebody slime duping for me, thank you. Appreciate it. Wait, did that not trigger? I guess I didn't step far enough. That was my bad. My bad. <laughs> Don't mind me, I'll just kill the lilies in revenge, I guess. Here. Fill the room. Oh, that was weird. My controller actually dropped an input there. That was. Alright, it looks like they're gonna slime dupe for me, so I'll just speed this room up, I guess. For slime duping. Dragon Slayer with hit, no thank you. gonna give me invincibility. I didn't feel it. Like, nah. Game's gonna troll. Dodge. And boss fight over. Gonna hold down and to the right, so we move during the cutscene. I should be near the item in case it's Masetta. I kind of want it if it's Masetta. Otherwise, I don't think I really care. Nope. Mm, let's get some free kills here. Confused Trap into second Confused Trap. So unfair. Bronze Badge. For that, I think. So much damage. Keep her knocking him down. Oh, even with this allure, or without allure, they just delete each other. It's hilarious. So, we might as well just get those badge checks as we're waiting. It's. Okay, who's in the next room? I was gonna say, I was like, wait, did they seriously just drop something? It's kind of annoying. So since I'm a little bit far behind, what we're gonna do, we're gonna ignore these. We're gonna do the pause trick. We don't target. So we know if we can get there where he spawns, which I'm not able to, I could put an automatic freeze trap. But we also know that my damage is busted, so I could just kill them instantly. I think I'm not gonna bother with freeze trapping, to be honest with you. We just do so much damage, I could just one-shot them. And once he's dead, I could just move on to the next room. Might as well just do my item checks. So I will freeze trap. Damage is so high. Time to the team gets here, we'll have two kills. Who's stun locking? I'll slow it down initially. Not me? Okay. I'm gonna assume it's Murphy. I'm gonna shoot the first monitor and then they'll take over. If needed, I'll go Wind Blaze or whatever. But I want to keep it on the first monitor for max damage. Oops, fail. So we'll 
gladly twin blaze with this nonsense. Play fast enough. Try to stay a monitor ahead in case it slips. Oh well, not the cleanest, but it'll do. Let's see, chat. Is Vol Op gonna immediately target me again? Let's witness. <laughs> wow. Seriously? Game, please. <laughs> right, chat? Come on. At least if it's Missile, I could get like more than one attack out. I'm half wondering if I should just take the take the cage on purpose at this point. Just so I can get one attack in before the boss dies. Just let the team kill without needing to unleash me. Damn, he didn't spawn hittable. Uh I'll do the stupid fast track because I'm bored. Ooh. He actually reacted too early. I got trolled by the he reacted when he shouldn't react animation. Oops, can't do the fast strat with that. Unfortunate. I think I just got too close to him. Oh well, we'll get one more attempt at the fast strat. Is you can zigzag through them, and free strap will lock them in place in case they do something weird. It just won't do anything if he decides to go backwards for no reason. I, I don't have a defense against that. If they go forward, it's fine. If they go sideways, it's fine. If they go backwards, it's over. That's fine. We'll just combo kill these. A little freeze trap here. Put a little freeze trap here. I think I wanted to kill Deltis on Sky ID, right? A minimum. We know that green and red want to kill the sorcerer for that super rare uber chance. And killing the extra Deldies doesn't lose that much time for badge checks. Doing like, what, one combo for a kill? That's fun. So yeah, I like the use of the confused traps in the first couple of rooms. For Viridian, it's especially strong. Because you want to check the heart of items anyway, and then for the people that care about Cannabin, or not Cannabin, uh, can it, mm, what Gilchick, the ones that care about the punchy robots, we already confuse trap kill them anyway, so it doesn't really matter what our gear is. For the most part, as long as we remain semi close to them, they'll kill themselves. So, like, we lose, like, five or six seconds, but if the main lead is already going to the next room anyway, it just kind of times it so that we're there for the Sinnoh Red. So, and if they get stuck on something, then we end up just killing Kanoeans until they're ready. Oops. Floppy movement. Uh... I don't actually want to go down there yet. I had a feeling it was going to swap over. I'm gonna hold forward, swap Vulcan, punish boss, question mark. <sighs> Almost swapped in time, I'm so close. I wanted the LNK to get a pot shot at this boss before it moved. Unfortunate. Or actually. Close. Side, dodge forward, kill the boss. We're gonna try to do normal, normal power in order to get three combos, but I gotta stand in a specific position. Yeah, there we go. So we'll hover LNK. 
the need to. I'm gonna say on the off chance that this would hit. Hit my boss. <laughs> I'm like, listen, I got nothing better to do. I might as well just go for the burning on LNK for free damage. I'm a ghost. I'm a ghost indeed. GG. That's pretty fast. Considering we were messing around, I'm happy. <laughs> Doing a lot of unneeded kills. Listen, sometimes you just gotta do badge checks. Yeah, I got enough time for one more, then I'm gonna take my break. A 50 hit ray gun with nothing useful. Take your head, champ. So sad. It could have been something. Oh, we actually got S rank. That's funny. I'm so used to him just being disappointed in us eternally. I'm just, I'm not ready for the S rank. He's like, oh, you're level 200 and you didn't do it in like, no, like 8.5 minutes. A rank. Flawless victory. Didn't even get hit by the boss. A rank. Okay. Next game is up. So yeah, I think the goal for probably by next week is to get this character to 200. So we'll play some other characters since I don't like to grind out a character. But I do have fun with the Hugh cast. Slingshot has arrived. Summit has arrived. If you wanted to hop in for one last game, Marco, we'll get remote battery and parameter, I think, on the return stream. No, not to 200, 180. I want to get him to red ring. Which I don't think is like too crazy. We do like three TTFs. It basically levels them. Three and a half. They don't take very long to do. You can join in, Marco. It's fine. We haven't played a lot of games with you this week. But then welcome to hop in for another one. Dango says, I see you one-shot all the bosses and lower world, world record speed. A rank. Yeah, just the perpetual disappointment of Tyrell is uh, very interesting to experience. <laughs> I was using my Humar a while ago. It's true. You Chat could technically help my Humar level, in theory. <laughs> in air quotes. One of the only characters I have never gotten to 180 before. That's not the right one. Nice. Let's do a confused trap into Zalor. Oh, no Zalor. That's unfortunate. Also, Slingshot, we need buffs. Okay, I'm gonna weaken him up since they didn't get Zalor. Now I'm gonna leave. Uh, yeah, I might as well kill you. Yeah, I just, I don't know. I think Humar would eventually be fun, but I think he requires gear that I just don't have. And by gear, I mean like stuff that will let him combo kill effortlessly, as opposed to the struggle that is being Humar. So maybe we'll get a nice standalone buff for him. Also, I've run out of Yakuza games to do soundtracks on. I think there's one left that I know of. Try this. Try 
try to go for the glitch again. It's definitely easier with Cannon Rouge and Dark Flow. Vulcan, I feel like it does hit, but it's hard to get all the bullets to do anything. Oh, there we go. Whoa, look how much it took there. Yeah, see, we... Yeah, we, we trimmed off 3k from it. So definitely for sure, if I was taking a Dark Flow here, the boss would have died. Since I think three different players actually got the glitch. I mean, I'll take it. Okay, this time I'll actually go all the way in the back for real this time. I'm racing Murphy. <laughs> Murphy's committed. There we go. One, two, three. Slime dupe time. Kill these, put a freeze trap here, just go brave man. Like the world's free set of kills. No badges, sadly. Clean this up, team could go to the next room. Freeze trap here, put a freeze trap here. Did somebody shoot my freeze trap? What happened there? Oh, well, pff, I'm not clearing it now. I was like, wait a minute. <laughs> Where'd my, why'd my freeze trap go off so early? That was unfortunate. So sad. Uh-oh. Uh, I don't see, no, you weren't duping. <laughs> I only saw four slimes. Unless they duped on your screen, I only saw four there. It was so sad. Rip the slimes. We'll fight the door. Okay, time to duck inside. Rest in peace, my money. to give me invincibility? No. Mag Synchro, negative a million. Okay, dodge the laser at least. Use the Lord of the Worm. I don't really want to use charge until it's the Lord. Rip knows the Lord. We'll take the money here. Okay, so same cleanup as before. Use trap, pause trick, dodge. Clean a bump. Actually, this should have been a fire trap. If I was thinking about that, I should have put a fire trap there. By the time the team kills that one, I should be lined up for Red Sinnoh this time. The team takes too long, I just get free reign here, which I think I'm gonna do. Sort of? Not really. We're in time to do damage. To do a little dancing mini game with these enemies. To do a quick check. Normally I wouldn't bother, but this character kills them so quickly that it just I can just do that check like almost instantly. Team very brave. Go 
kill that. Let's go kill these. Um, goodbye. Right, so we're just gonna clear the way. I did not target correctly. So sure they could get in safely. Ooh, so far away. That sucks. Red handgun time. Regen a little bit of HP. Okay. I'm gonna go... Hopefully this time I won't miss. I'm holding up into the right. I'm hoping that the character doesn't overshoot. Let's see. Okay, that time I stunned it properly. A little bit of a handoff there. The boss does get by. I'm just going to put fireballs here. a bit smoother. Well, here we are again, chat. Some, th some things never change. <laughs> Got attacked during the cutscene. Love it. My favorite. running in the background. Weird. Alright, take two. And I go for the fast track. Why is he swinging? Why is he doing that? Okay, I, I want to know why he did that. Because normally he just does it and then he goes towards you. He's not supposed to turn like that. I wonder if it's like... if Is it just other players are too close? Am I getting like... Unlucky with my foot placement outside the door. I've never failed it that many times before. So I wonder what causes him to specifically do that animation. Instead of just, like, doing what the guy behind him does. Must be getting, like, slightly too close. No, it's not evolving. Just, we've seen before, like, sometimes they react to other players due to, like, lag. <laughs> like, we've seen that happen before. Well, the, the, like, the guy behind the front guy will sometimes just attack, even though the guy in front that's closer doesn't do anything. So I'm assuming some shenanigans are happening. But I'm curious how replicatable that is. Let's chat to with those. Because there's, like, some behaviors where it does feel random. Like, I know they- I know, like, I think about a year and a half ago, two years ago, they tried to patch that so they don't early act for the most part. And for the most part, they don't. But having that happen twice on the same guy... Yeah, like, I don't know if it's stuff like that. <laughs> where the ping is spiking or something weird. Because he's, like, interrupting his own animation to swing, which is not usual. If he's not being struck, that's unusual. But we'll see, I suppose. Hopefully, hopefully we'll figure that out later. Because it's usually... I don't have to, like, hard cut to the left. The only thing I can think of is, like, if I'm rounding the corner too closely... Maybe that's why we're getting a different AI behavior. Or if it has to do with players behind me, which I can't see during the stream. I'd have to look at the minimap. Yeah, it's very weird that that happened twice now. 
Because we do that all the time in single player, and we do that all the time usually in multiplayer games. So that way we can weave between them. Or if I freeze trap them with an early freeze trap, I can weave past just one of them rather than both of them, and then we're usually fine. Oh well. Yes. Could just compare. I, I do think the charge Vulcan, if I can land the final hit, is more damaging, but with the UCAS, the word if is kind of important there, because I'm not guaranteed to hit the special. I'm gonna hold forward to correct my angle. So we'll, we'll hover Vulcan. fast face kill. Okay, I think it's officially time for a break. We'll have to figure out what game series to listen to going forward. Aw, oh, five seconds off. <laughs> Could have been lead. Sadly, nothing of interest dropped, but hey. Getting about 217,000 experience, so two more TTFs you should level again today. We'll be on that grind a little bit later. As I said before, we might do some anniversary stuff more specifically. There we go. There's the disappointment I'm used to. He's like, oh, character death, A rank. So anyway, I guess we'll talk about how we feel the runs went today. Uh, overall, that was a lot of Conjuryu. Uh, still no Dwarf on Eclair. We did see a Pazuzu. We leveled a bunch of people from 80 to, like, low 120s. So that was kind of nice. And I think overall, uh, most of my ults at this point are, like, 140 or above, which is nice. So we need two more red rings, potentially. One for the raw moral, one for Humar. I'm more inclined to give the next red ring over to my raw moral than anything else. But who knows, maybe we'll do some yellow ID shenanigans with him. I haven't really figured out a good quest to play to level him and also get something useful, because I don't, I don't think I would really enjoy RT with the Humar. That sounds terrible. <laughs> it's like, that's the quest where I'm like, oh, do I not have Cannon Rouge? Sadness ensues. So, like, I love Rockass and RT, but Humar into RT? We know his debuff doesn't even reach the final boss. Which is really awkward. So, I don't know, chat. Big, big question mark. We'll probably mod sec ID him into something, but what that is, I'm not sure. But I think from that standpoint, chat, let's take a little bit of a break. We'll be resuming later this evening at our normal stream time, so those that didn't get a run and were looking for it later, we will be resuming in about, say about two hours, maybe a little less. Just gotta get some dinner in order. But for now, chat, let's go ahead and say goodbye to YouTube. So if you did watch to this point in the video or the bot, I'd like to say thank you for watching, and see you in the next part.